and welcome back to Countercast. We're going to have one banger of a show today. So thank everyone for showing up because, you know, I figured there's so much in the news right now. Everything talking about Gamergate 2, this, that. And I figured, thanks thanks to my boy Mugen Lord, who's doing an awesome stream. It gave me just the idea that let's do a stream where we reminisce and just talk about the good days of gaming. And to do that, I need to bring on a solid panel. Everybody on the show has been here before, so let's bring them out. <laughs> Angry Badger, tell the people who you are uh, and what you do. Dear God, full screen. What's going on, everyone? Angry Badger, thank you for having me back, Leon. I'm becoming almost a regular uh, regular on your show and uh, Saturday Night Hypnosis, which I don't mind at all. Uh, yeah, find me doing the same commentary that we won't be doing today because we're only focusing on the good things. So I'm looking forward to, since I'm a lifelong gamer and I've never stopped, uh, looking forward to talking about all the good ones that we've had. Shout out. That to is chat. exactly what I like to hear. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm very welcome to you. You becoming a regular when it comes to be the bigot army, my show, Hypno. Like you've really like like just made a name for yourself recently. It's been awesome, dude. Your growth has been like legit. So congratulations and stoked to have you on to talk about good stuff. But uh speaking of good stuff, we got the metal shill, why it's metal here. Tell the people hey. who you are what you do. What's up, everybody? I am Wyatt's Metal, also known as the Savior of Metal. I'm usually spending my time saving and shit-talking everything involving heavy metal, but I am here to talk about good things involving gaming. I am probably the least uh, gamer out of everybody that will be on the panel today, but it is something that I've always enjoyed and very much loved when I was younger, and I'm excited to talk about maybe some good things that we all loved growing up, maybe some good things that I've missed that I could get into now, so... Let's do this and probably make fun of Leon a lot. Oh, dude, you can't, I can't wait. That, that's going to be a, a must do. You know, you can't have a stream without me being called gay or whatever at some point. But no, <laughs> the fact that you don't game in modern day is actually one of the reasons I was stoked to have you on because you're going to give us a very like nostalgic viewpoint of gaming from when you're your, your childhood and whatnot. And I think yeah, that's going to be so. super beneficial. Uh, now, on the other end of the spectrum, somebody that spends all their time gaming, we got it. Serranos. Tell the people who you are and what you do. I'm Serranos. I have a channel here on YouTube. I don't really upload ever. I mostly just show up on Blame the Escape Core streams to talk about whatever I've been watching, whatever I've been playing. I am working on a video talking about brand new games, games that haven't even come out yet. Uh, it's going to be about demos I played during Steam Next Fest. That's an event that Valve holds about three times a year. Friends, a bunch of demos. I just love going through. I love finding new stuff. And that's really what I do. I don't actually play basically any old games. <laughs> You're, yeah, you're, you're going to offer a very different perspective, which I'm A-OK -okay with. Like, you sent me a bunch of indie games that are reminiscent of Resident Evil, so I uh, can't wait to, to, to get into those. I have, I, have, I have, like, brand new games of all different categories. Like, my favorite ones are generally strategy-oriented games, that games that make you think a lot. Uh, I like puzzle yeah. games generally in the same vein of that. Uh, <laughs> well, you're like, I could tell you're the type of individual that would play games like that. Yeah. But uh, speaking yeah. of someone who enjoys strategy games, we got Dragon Slayer commentary. Dragon Slayer, tell the people who you are and what you do. Oh, well, you see, uh, I do sarcastic commentary on all the trashy things that happen on Hollywood lately, mostly movies and TV shows. And yes, I'm sorry that I don't have the epic, you know, we was bigots and shit uh, background. My camera decided to fucking die on me. By that, I mean StreamYards is not letting anyone see my camera. So sorry about that. But, you know, I I've always been a lifelong gamer as well. I've been playing games, I think, since I was like 10, you know, so... It's always quite a, a nice experience to be able to talk to fellow nerds about all the all the things that are happening in gaming lately. And, you know, uh, I might be a little bit different in the sense that I have played both old and new games. So and, and both on the AAA and indie side, though, these days I'm more on the indie side because. God, AAA has some issues lately. But yeah, I'm ready to go. Does, you, and you were constantly spamming the chat with indie indie requests. So I, I think it's going to be good. Like you're, you're definitely going to You and yes, Serrano sure. have that in common. Yeah. And of course, we got to get the, there. will be one more individual joining after this last introduction. Mugen Lord will be here. He's running a bit behind, but he's going to be here. But until then, we got Brian Godporeal, Nerdporeal, the classic gamer, telling people who you are and what you do and what you love. <clears throat> How you doing? Uh, Nerdporeal, life form, uh, not nerdporeal like some people pronounce it, but <clears throat> nerdporeal. I do video essays on uh, things that I liked, things that I liked growing up, uh, things that I currently like, uh, mainly retrospectives. That's my video content. Currently, I, I do a weekly live stream. I dub it Chillporeal. It's basically, once again, bringing back the nerd discussions without the toxicity that uh, 
so-called people who want to create relationships, you know, like, you know, what do you call the community man, like community managers nowadays? Uh, <laughs> uh, just want, I just want to recreate the, the nerd conversation. I, I, go, I go across all the mediums, books, shows, movies, and games. Um, but yeah, in terms of games, I mean, I, there's a lot of games I missed out on back in the day. I grew up, I mean, first fan before even a, even before me being a Star Trek fan was a Nintendo fan. So I've covered a lot of Nintendo content. So, um, but I, I've played some AAA games. I'm kind of Dude, I, I'm so. still, we, we got ourselves a well rounded panel here waiting for our last member. I want to address everybody in the chat. But before we do, I got to say, Sonia coming in hot, dropping the first gifty. You know what? I think that that deserves a little bit of a jingle. Okay. Thank you so much, Sonia. I appreciate it, girl. You are the bomb. Let's see who else in the chat and who we got to say hi to. We got QJ in the house. Appreciate you being here, QJ. Maz up saying dishonor, dishonor. Why, why, why all the dishonor? What, what, what did I do this time? Johnny boy in the house. So sweet. They got Booker T in the cat. And, and he shows up late. And Booker T shows up late. <laughs> what the shit? Charlie, by, uh, but last name I never pronounced. How you doing, brother? Appreciate you. The Fistro in the house. Appreciate you being here, my man. And uh, yeah, Dax and R. Love having Dax and R. in the show. So many folks showing up. We appreciate it. We got uh, 35 viewers right now. Alex Moore uh, was saying that uh, it's just saying hi to Sonia because to be real, everyone everyone likes to say hi to Sonia for very obvious reasons. Dragon showing up in the chat. Badger showing up in the chat. Guys, let's get into it. Appreciate you being here. Fuck Norris, Jeremy's reviews. I'm going to start this off with just a uh, just, just a general question to maybe you know address everybody in the house here. What console did you start with? So we know where we're at in the gaming space. What was your first console? Oh, man. Um, my very first console was the N64. You want to elaborate on that? Or like, no, yeah. but, uh, I think my first was the no N64. The one needed. that I never got as a kid was the Dreamcast. That was the one like, I always wanted and just never got for some reason. Um, I moved to PlayStation a little bit later, but the N64, oh man, it was a shit. Playing Super Smash Brothers, Goldeneye was like the most amazing thing at the time and now i've gone back and tried to replay it and have no idea how we played those fucking controllers at all and try to play call time now and you're just like yeah. what the fuck is this but yeah i i, I love the n64 i skipped that one completely so i i went from uh super nintendo into uh dreamcast which is my favorite system of all time what, what about the rest of you guys what did you, what did you start with I feel like Nerd Mr. Ron is going to give some esoteric yeah, answer like probably I started the with same this. answer i started with a nintendo ds light <laughs> That was my first console I owned. I mean, you're notably yeah. younger than the rest of us, so yeah, I mean, that checks Just out. Bit. A less nerd answers Atari. I started with the original Nintendo with like Mario and Duck Hunt and Uncle Fester's Quest, and mm -hmm, like, I got mm -hmm. like eight or something. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I figured. Okay, that like so OG. That was my first console. Console. Even though I think my dad did have an Atari. I never really messed around with it. <laughs> Yeah, no, you said Fester, Nintendo. dude. You said Fester's That's Quest. Correct. You know why I got Fester's, Fester's Quest? Quest? Yeah, my what? dad because my dad was a boomer. He grew up watching the announcement. He's like, oh, and I, I well, look, the, the Uncle Fester. This must you, be yeah. a good game. Yeah, and he, it, I get, I get that with Zelda too. I still have PTSD Christmas. from like the second level of that Fester's Quest <laughs> game, and like Paperboy, and uh, yeah, all those. I, you, when you when you get game over, you can't go back to where you where it's you a were. Special type of trauma. People talk about yeah, Dark Souls just, now. It's like, no, 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 no. Like, yeah, even when we get to Aladdin, like uh, on Sega Genesis, it's like, oh, no, no, you restart the whole game over when you, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, God. and the game, and, and you have to be careful. The game will downgrade your weapons. Like, if you're not careful, you have to be careful. Like, well, the, the blue, the blue gun upgrades, the red gun downgrades. So it, obligatory. It, it with you. Did you ever have to put the cartridges in the freezer or rubbing alcohol on the, oh, yeah. to get the tab? Wait, wait, to, I know it started freezer, here. That's and, a new one yeah. for me. The blow, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I used, to, I used to I used to jerk I used to jerk the uh, the 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 uh, the, oh, the cartridge did. in the system. We but that worked too. It was white, really good white, gray, white, the gray, white, yeah. gray, white, <laughs> gray, and the, the the light would go on, off, on, off. It took me forty five minutes sometimes to get the damn thing to work. You'd so really have to hope. You'd really have to hope and pray that the game you wanted to play, uh, Double Dragon. I remember yeah. trying to play that, but yeah, yeah. And Dragon then, Slayer. Did you answer? Wow. 
Yeah, no, I was gonna say Sorry. like if, if we're no, you're good. If we're going, we, we like, full nerded Kung out on OG <laughs> Nintendo there for a second. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I've I've never seen people like nerd out like that hard. You know, I've heard I've heard yeah. of like some videos. Of we people... exist. <laughs> okay, I've seen videos of old men talk about the Nintendo days, but I never heard them in Fuck person. You man. <laughs> we the people here play games longer than I've been alive. Just... That's just how it is. It's okay, bro. I'm like 26. I might be the youngest one in this group. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same age as you. Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I thought you were 22. You're a little bit older than I gave you credit for. Okay. We're the old yeah. men, Ace. I, I mean, oh, the thing is, I didn't own any consoles. I played on PC as a kid before I... Same. I fucking knew it. I, I, I literally same. say he's going to give us some esoteric answer like he started with PC. And I mean, look, uh, we're going... If we're going surprised surprised yeah, I started on PC when I was like four years old. Yeah. I had a PC okay, in the we're... 90s, too. We could do five. Yeah, yeah. Hugo's Quest. <laughs> yeah, the very, very first adventures. games I played were like, yeah. you know, I Am Sam or whatever on PC. Look, I'll admit, man, like, for me... If we're going just by consoles, Man, it was like games, Xbox uh, 360 when I played Skyrim, I believe, back in 2011. Yeah. Maybe I played some other games like back in the day, but if, if we're talking like overall, yeah, it was PC. But to give you an idea of how old of a, of a game I would play, uh, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets video game, like the PC version, and bro, that him, game was up. Ma- I won't even lie, yeah. I adored the Chamber of Secrets yes. game. Yes, yeah, no, and Praetorians. The original, the Praetorians game. I know this. So that's that's like a very vague, but it's like it's a it's a game. I don't think a lot of people have heard from. But if you you can look them up on Steam, they're selling like an HD systems version where you can actually play it on modern PCs because people are demanding it. It's it's such a good old classic RTS. You're literally playing a long campaign as the Romans, the ancient Romans, Egyptians, and barbarians. And it follows like the story of Julius Caesar and his conquests. That's it's cool. amazing. Quick, quick yeah. question from Sonic. We Boom skipped, Fan, so we skipped over a bunch too. He's asking oh, the, yeah. uh, the panel our opinions on Pixar's Brave from 2012. Out the gate, I'm gonna be huh? real. I don't have an opinion on it. I've never seen it. I did go to Disney World a couple years ago, and the the lady in costume who was uh, portraying Merida was she was hot as fuck. Uh, so there's, you know, there's there's my answer to how I, feel I about agree with Leon. That's a bonus one. That's my same opinion. Yeah, I, I never watched. It. Oh my, I, I, I like this movie a lot now. Yeah, I, I just skipped. Well, it. I have I did see the movie. It was actually not bad because this was before Disney went down to shitter. My yeah, it seems like it. So, but right. like the stars are dead. I remember back. Yeah. I actually did watch it. Was like Redbox or something. It was like yeah. I, it was just so bland. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my brain is talking a- like, don't say Pixar. Don't talk about Pixar. Don't talk about Pixar. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. The, so, the yeah. studio who must not be named. <laughs> and Pixar J- 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 Banana. Laser Suit yeah. Larry was a lot of fun, but yeah, I was playing Duke Nukem at like four years it. old because it was my oh, greatest yeah. favorite game, and she loved playing it with me. Like, no business letting a four year old play Duke Nukem, but me and my granny had a blast. So, RIP, R- R- she uh, she got me into gaming, and yeah, but just a, a great game. I still have it on my PC to this day, Duke Nukem 3D. Duke, and that's, Duke they don't Nukem, make games like that Wolfenstein, anymore. hell yeah. Mm-hmm. The I'm very first game I started. ever played, like the very first game, I was like maybe six or something. It was on PC. It was either called Road Rage or Road Rash, where you're racing on motorcycles yeah, and you can like, hit each other. Yeah, that was the I first had, video had game Genesis, I and ever that was on there. So it's yeah, multiple there a, generations. I think there was a sequel to that. There's a couple of them where you no can idea, kick but... and like push people yeah. off. And you have, yeah, I remember and that explains. So I went from Nintendo well. to Sega Genesis to then Ooh. the PlayStation One like classic. Yeah. To then the actual first Xbox, so I could play Knights of the Old Republic. To then 360 yep. PC the whole time, like parallel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like, I've played all of them for, but I've consistently played Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, all the shit, uh, all the way through, and PC all the way through. You went in a different direction than me. Yeah, the one I think <laughs> yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people the... verge on that, but I'll tell you, it was Knights of the Old That's Republic that made yeah. me start Xbox because it was originally a uh, oh, yeah. console exclusive. God damn, that's still one of the greatest games of all time. I agree. Oh yes. Yeah, true. here we go. Uh, Ro- Road Redemption, which is I, I guess the sequel is, one? is on, on sale sequel. right now. Oh. Two nine two dollars and ninety nine cents for anyone who wants to relive that childhood yeah. with a sequel. As far as right I remember, now. it's basically just straight based on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's thing we were talking about. That's that's Whoa. pretty sick. So there you go. There's there's your advertisement for the day, everybody. If you want to pick yeah. up, uh, I have no oh, idea. Oh, there'll be more. Yeah. Be oh long. man. Oh, I should play that. Well, to be <laughs> I fair, I literally haven't game. played that in like what twenty eight years. Or yeah. Like, say, the first game we all probably played is like Oregon Trail. 
at school yeah, if you were yeah. young what? enough to. Uh, yeah, the first fun, the great, dude. On I'm an old Cuban, so I don't know what this, is, what that Oregon Trail. You thing don't is. know what Oregon <laughs> Wait, are you Trail are you is? Are you fucking with you toddler, bro? Are you like when I was a kid, those are not the kind of games that like I played. Oh my god! Yeah, you grew up in Cuba. You guys couldn't afford games. Everybody in no, I went to Mexico. We could afford games. Everyone in school, yeah. I mean, I didn't computer. You can pull up Oregon Trail. Everyone. Hey, we learned what dysentery was because I would always choose banker and go hunting. So yeah, I just. <laughs> shooting buffalo like a true American uh, the yeah. entire game. American. And then I would die be like, oh, someone in stepped in a hole and broke their leg. What do you want to do? Like, by a snake. You'd get bit yeah. by a snake and you'd be done. <laughs> Your whole family got <laughs> diarrhea and died. Yeah, because we used to have I, I, I like my do. wagon train trying to cross a river and it just capsized yeah. and everyone fucking died. Couldn't cross the river. Honestly, even if you go in the best conditions, there's still like a chance. They they had something like that in in the show 1883, the the Taylor Sheridan show. They did something exactly like it's like they watch. It's like he he played Oregon Trail and decided to have like all the big accidents from Oregon Trail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you're done. You're done. That and the Berenstein Bears point and click storybooks we have. Oh, dude, dude, dude Berenstein Bears and my, my jam. Yeah, <laughs> so see, while well, we think we're the same age gap, so we sort of had probably had the oh. same things. Oh, a fellow old 38. man who played games so, ages ago. Like yeah. Who says for you <laughs> young pups were in diapers. <laughs> hey, when I heard him say, when I heard James Brolin say "young pup" in Dune Two, I was like, I thought back to Patrick Stewart and and or OG Dune. I was like, yes, yes. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, there's another uh so there was another strategy game I played that this thing is has like its own little underground community and everything. It's actually quite strong, mostly Tolkien nerds, but I don't know if you guys ever played the uh, EA Battle for Middle Earth games. Those were amazing. Was that, was that the one that played like Star Wars Battlefront? No, not like Star Wars Battlefront. No, that was Lord of Rings Conquest. I played I that. Played that. Too, that game was, I, 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 it was awesome. Fun. Dude. <laughs> you can play as a Balrog yeah. in the Shire. That game was amazing. Wait, wait there's a I Lord of the, the Rings Battlefront? One. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Conquest. It's Lord of the Rings Conquest. But yeah, cool. you can basically... And, and they're doing a remaster. Fuck. Like, there's a community remaster going on in the background that i haven't even kept up on it in some time can you play can you play as saruman you can play yes. as sauron in rivendell you can just fucking yeah. like just hammer everybody just it's awesome beat the shit out of anybody everyone play, uh, elrond gets a fuck <laughs> did anybody play, play uh, lord of the rings the third age back in like the ps2 era i did not get a chance to do that but i played other the other lord of the rings i played game, i played the game. like the, the action versions of it, the action game ones that were on console like but i played it on uh pc the pc version back I, in the day i love the third age that you could like... switch between gimli and gandalf and aragorn yeah. and legolas for the yeah. four characters depending it goes through the mm. movie it's like the movie adaptions basically yeah it's back in the yeah back in day when they they oh they just literally copy pasted the movie and it did super well had cinematics oh fuck yeah, yeah. no it was, mm -hmm. it was completely fine yeah, and it was. I believe they were on 362. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was. It was amazing. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yes, the Balrog stomping on the Shire. Yeah, I remember that. Great. Shit. It was like, so much fun. <laughs> you get to the Balrog. I always wanted to burn New Zealand to the fucking yeah. ground. So this is the closest I'll ever get. Like, <laughs> giant fire demon. <laughs> nah, dude. You. It was crazy. Is like. Uh, so in the Battle for Earth games, you basically had this thing where uh, it, they took advantage of the of the system of the engine in place Back i think it was on the embryo engine for uh company of heroes too i believe it was so they and, and, repurposed that, that engine ended up growing into sweet baby ink just sorry oh, fuck Don't no do it. <laughs> you started this it. You said embryo and i had to make a joke sorry continue Fun ruined immediately ban him no i'm just kidding um no we can ban him ban it's ban okay. yourself <laughs> <They're just fun. laughs> ban the host we'll take over yeah okay yeah. anyway patrick has so right, the best well. thing about games now is no yeah <laughs> okay there we go oh no but the, the, yeah, the, Ar the, arkham, about Knight, the, the, the arkham games Ooh, are fantastic yes. i like all of them even origins oh. i said it yeah Oh, Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. Those were good. Those are great. Those really Did you fun. see the I Batman game Mordor that they almost yeah, made? Yeah, I played Shadow of yeah, Mordor yeah. last year, but no, I didn't Oh, the one based really on the Nolan movie? Yes, like that monolith. No, really? Those looked great. Like the, cool. the, the, the footage guy. I don't know if it was leaked per se, but yeah, the yeah. footage was going around on Twitter. It looked It sure awesome. looked leaked. Yeah, how did it get that far along? Yeah, we almost had like Arkham in the Nolan verse before. Well, it might not have been that good, but it looked pretty fully third open world, you know. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, Jim Pachi's an Origins fan as well. So, yeah, I, I know I, there's I know critiques so of the hated. combat. I, it, so I don't know why it's so hated. It's still, he said, Which there's one? some changes to combat timing. I get it. And then also, it's not Mark Hamill or Kevin Conroy, it's uh, Troy Baker and Roger Craig Smith. 
Mm. Roger Craig Smith, who's playing Batman oh. again in the Spawn they Batman. Have great voice actors. So Ro- yeah. Roger Craig Smith is uh, how you can go from he's being Ezio. like. Yeah, he's as he's he's also Chris Redfield in Resident Evil and then Sonic the Hedgehog, and it blows my mind to know that they're the same fucking guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. by the way, the Ezio different. trilogy, one of my Ooh, favorites yes. of all time of all the Assassin's yes. Creed. Yes, yes, dude, that is that is an amazing trilogy, dude. I never that, played the oldest Assassin's Creeds, but four is fun. It was just I've played game. all of them. No, they're four good. is yeah, fine. Four is four is good. Four, four is actually not, one of the not, better. Wasn't good. Three was not better good stories. <laughs> yeah, no, three. I played three too, and I was like, yeah, you know, yeah. I see what you guys are doing here, but I no. love it. But that's all right. I forgive uh, you if you don't like it. But yeah, no, I loved it. But uh, yeah, I, 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 didn't I, like it was the I only played the, uh, the, the very first Assassin's Creed. That was the only one I played. And it was yeah, a lot of fun. It got a lot better. Combat was a lot better for a while. Since it was like close to launch for PS3 at the time when I played, it felt next generation. Like when you go from PS2 to PS3 and you get Assassin's Creed, like that felt genuinely. Yeah, back when you saw was a pretty big jump, to be fair. It was very far graphics. They also got rid of the main guy that was writing it all, so. Ah, oh, remember the days left. when Ubisoft would not fuck over its people, you know? Now it does it every second it gets. <laughs> By the way, Skull and Bones is the yes. ultimate pirate game that we got from them copying yep. the what started yeah. in Assassin's Creed 3, and then we got Black Flag, and then they tried to rip off Black Flag, and Skull and Bones is what we got. But no, when it comes to pirate game, game, there was this game called Sid Meier's Pirates back in the, like, the I, remember, it. I think I played that. Pirate. Yeah, I mean, anybody that's like, listened to pirate games knows the that is because that's the I only got viable for pirate you. game. Oh, let you me can choose to sword fight with the captain. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you like run up on ships and just like jump yeah. over and take yeah. him? Yeah, that's I all that. I would do. You just run up to ships and you, yeah, you try to sword fun. fight the captain to take it's over. It's incredible how it. nobody's managed to actually just remake that. It's like, yeah, you have you have the bones. You can make it better. You definitely could. You definitely could, but you just they don't want to. They don't care. Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know if I want a remake because like the Sid Meier's games were such a encapsulation of like the mid 2000s because there's a sid meyers for everything i feel like every time we say we want to mm-hmm. remake we mean the best interpretation of that not yeah. what yeah. we would most like uh, yeah not, not, just, not just a couple of things but actually, actually some things yeah. you can do in terms of you yeah, know it's mm-hmm. black flag had the best ending because of all the assassin's creed games it's the one where uh edward had the truest <laughs> he had oh, yeah, didn't know who the assassins yep. were and by the end of it That's he truly embraces right it I don't think I ever paid for it though, so I only played like the free, yeah. a little bit of free version. I, I, I never I tried paid yeah. for Toontown online. I played that over like oh, multiple. Yeah. Oh, I, I never, I never got to try out Toontown, but I would play the crap out of this game. Like I enjoyed just the crap going after people's pi- pirate ships and just destroying them, that and then fun. finding out that the voodoo doll uh, build was like the best one ever, <laughs> just cursing people to death. <laughs> You know what's funny? We've gotten, we, we've gotten a few gifts and super a, chats, so I'm gonna acknowledge those real quick. First of all, Trix became a vital idol. Thank you for becoming part hey. of the community. Trix gotta join the Discord. We've got a pinned uh a pinned community pose. You can join that. Appreciate you for showing up. Janet Banana coming in the house with two dollars says you have died of dysentery. And <laughs> oh, that was when you guys were talking about Oregon Trail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty common. Yeah. The great dead Pulio coming in. Patrick's favorite Latinx, aka Moist Bag, is here. Thank you for showing up, great dead Pulio. You guys are the best. I appreciate all the supers. It means the world to me. Damn spitting words, son. Don't you go about talking about no Latinx. <laughs> I will. Yeah, so we, we got we got plenty. We got three Latinos on the fucking panel tonight. So this is a uh, again. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by the level the of diversity. Powers. Congrats on your ESG score. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god! ESG. The white so, part you know, takes you know, me down a couple Hispanics, especially if they look white, they actually have to be speaking Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's R.I.P. Tom Clancy. Do they not make Tom Clancy games anymore, or is Tom Clancy himself dead? I think I don't no, know Tom Clancy gone. himself passed away. Uh, yeah. They still oh, make. Really? They still yeah. make uh, uh, they're still going to use the IP because of its popular name. Oh yeah, no reason yeah. not to. Like no Ghost Recon really and gone. all those, they haven't really been tom clancy for a oh, while it doesn't have anything to do with tom clancy yeah. <laughs> like, like were they based off of the, they were they based off of his books or were they yeah like there's this, a rainbow was this a concept beginning. was this yeah. a concept that yeah. he came up with and that he worked with developers or something yep. concepts back in the day it's long since expanded upon and taken on their own life mm-hmm. ghost recon all those things Okay. Oh, but apparently passed yeah. in 2013. I had yeah. no idea. I did not know that Tom Clancy died. Okay, fair enough. Well, and Drinker yeah. sort of talked about this, how like uh, they have people working with them to write in conjunction with the writer, and sometimes they end up just writing the whole <laughs> the whole damn thing, and then it comes yeah. out under that writer's name. So it's like just that. So long before he was gone, he's got a whole universe that they could just keep on. 
Okay, he wasn't he wasn't super old. Speaking he was of Tom Clancy, six. there was a dope ass uh Jason Bourne game on the PS3, if anybody remembers that. I remember I, playing I it. Yeah, I, I really did. It felt like Jason Bourne. Wasn't it uh, wasn't there other I could have sworn it was more than just P, uh PlayStation. It, the, that's what I played. One? It may have been also on the 360 and stuff. I played on because I, I didn't I Either owned way, I, uh, I, I didn't own an Xbox 360. My my granny didn't. She loved that sucker, abused the shit out of it. But I uh yeah, I, I had a PS3 and she had the 360, so Leon, you really think Final Fantasy VII is overrated? Oh, we got to talk about this. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, we, we'll, we'll acknowledge this member <laughs> chat from I, man. We got to get Leon a PS5. The man told me Final Fantasy VII was overrated, and I'm never going to let him forget about that. All right. No, so you should give me a PS5 instead. I won't give me. I'm with you, bro. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm going yeah. hey, to defend, defend my take here. Over, I put my claim here first. Overrated, and they think it means Leon bad. has a bad oh. take. What? <laughs> oh, I, I like Final Fantasy that artwork Final that will make not familiar with game. that one. Like, it's, it's, when I say it's overrated, what I mean is everyone showers Final Fantasy 7 with all this attention when, let's be real, 9 is the superior game. People look at 7 because it saved the franchise. Good game. I like it, but it's superior. it gets more love than probably necessary now that, that, nine's that, that, I can, that I can that I can agree with. I mean, you know how I got on the 7? I got on the 7 years after the fact. I just Someone hooked up a PS1 emulator, which is complete shit, back in mid 2000s when i was in college oh, yeah, sure. and i played it i i got addicted and this was years after it came out and i think it came out in 97 i was 12 at the time so yeah i i actually got really addicted to it and i really liked the twist uh later in the game the only thing i didn't yeah. like was the ending the apple epi- the apple epi- there wasn't an epilogue I, again, I I do I like Final Fantasy VII. It's just, I I get so much shit for talking. Like people give me shit for saying, assuming I don't like it because I called over radio, and that's not the case. I mean, the see, John Shepard's really Final Fantasy VII's really like overrated. A long ass chase like story with broken material mechanics. Yeah. Okay, I, eight is not better. I gotta disagree there. Eight eight is not better than seven. Though. No, it's I not. like eight, but eight's not better than seven. Yeah, like, no, there's, there's my final fa- phrase it's Final Fantasy six through like ten or whatever. It's like you gotta realize that these are all probably good games. <laughs> uh, see, uh, my my hot take, which I don't assume is a hot take, my favorite Final Fantasy of all time is Tactics on the PS One. I don't know if anyone played that. Final Fantasy really Tactics is my absolute it's favorite. It's a completely different style game. of game, so there's a lot of people who are gonna prefer that. Like I would probably prefer Tactics over any of the normal Final Fantasy games. Because you're a filthy Fire Emblem fan. Yeah, that's like. <laughs> <very serious. laughs> Damn. Okay. Are they, are they, are they the oh, same uh, genre? The tactics yeah. and uh, yeah, the there's, there's obviously differences between them, but yeah, they're more. Look, I barely play turn-based games. games. Okay, oh, Leon yeah, knows. I don't this. play that shit at all. <laughs> oh, what, is God, your, I'm alone. what is your issue with turn-based games? Like it requires you to think and use strategy. I it's would not, think it's you would not, enjoy it's that. Not the, it's not the thinking and strategy. There are other games where I can do thinking and strategy, and I don't have to like. Wait for everyone's turn to move and smack me in the face. I can dodge him and smack him in the face strategically. <laughs> Should have been bothered. Uh, there's not what a game genre there's is, this thing uh, called, know. you know, games where you can press the pause button. You know, they did this in Baldur's Gate, you know, <laughs> Baldur's Gate and one, I believe, in three. Oh, I still, Lord. I still don't like Baldur's Gate three just because yeah, of, I need to, I need to buy an external hard drive. Yeah. I, I tried the original Baldur's like, Gate recently. It. It was like, it's yeah. kind of okay. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't really like really? building styles much. I, I, love I, I got I got I got too games. addicted to the Larian mm-hmm. style of games, and I just like those too much to go back to older stuff. That's Man. fair. That's fair. Because I got it with Richie, Divinity Originals and one I backed on Kickstarter, and I played two as well, and those were just amazing. I just love those so much. I haven't gotten into Baldur's Gate three yet because I know I'm gonna love it anyways. A man has appeared, Mugen Lord. How you doing? We'll do the intro real quick. Tell the people who you are and what you do. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mugen Lord. Um, I guess you could say I'm a YouTube video game content creator. I also uh, pretty much cover culture war stuff as well. The name is Mugen Lore is because uh, I also had pretty much my Mugen channel. I used to pretty much do Mugen content, which was a software engine that allows you to create your own fighting games and everything um, like that. But uh, I'm glad to be here. Sorry I was late because I had to take I had to pick up my daughter from her track uh, from her track practice and everything. So. But uh, uh, no, you were taking care of your daughter instead of complaining about your daughter games. Games. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> celebrating <laughs> video games. Celebrating confirmed. video games. <laughs> well, well, uh, well, uh, the uh, movie uh, Lord's we missing is a ceiling uh, bird. Uh, <laughs> early when we went around the horn and said what our first consoles were, Mugen. What was your first console? Oh, my first console. All right, first at my first console was this uh, the the NES. Um, the first game I ever played was The Legend of Zelda when I was four years old. And then right after the the uh, Legend of Zelda, 
my parents had bought me my very own console, which was the Sega Genesis. And the first games I ever played was Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, Alter Beast, Tiny Toons Adventures. Most of them was all beat 'em ups and platformers. Yeah. But ever since then, man, I was just a big like gamer because my whole family is gamers. My dad, my mom, that's cool. You know, my sister, my brothers. So we all we all game. Wait, your sister? But I've been led to believe that until ten years ago, women didn't play video games. Uh, Did you just uh, assume uh, his sister's <laughs> gender? <laughs> I, I was led to believe there's no black people in gaming at all. So hey, yeah, the fact right. That you're yeah, here is a shock. Yes. <laughs> oh shit, man! It's almost like they were lying. Is blowing up over the fucking game. Yeah. I mean, I thought Jennifer Lawrence was the first person to play a video game. <laughs> She what? invented Pong. Yeah, that is who Samus uh, Samus yeah. was based off of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she got blasted for that too. <laughs> blasted for something else. So, so, you know, yeah, well, the first it's going there. Okay, damn. <laughs> No, that that was another game that I didn't I didn't get into till way later. Actually, was Metroid. My first Metroid game was Metroid Prime on the GameCube. So. Oh, really? Metroid game was Super Smash yeah. Brothers. I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing Metroid right now. I'm playing Super oh, Metroid right oh, now. Actually, wow. really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. My, I just my beat first... the first. I just beat the first Chozo boss. So yeah, Super oh, wow. Metroid is one of my is my top Super Nintendo game. Yeah, yeah. That was my first Metroid game. Uh, Super Metroid on the SNES, and I and I thought it was a guy. Um, Sam is at first because the armor and stuff, like you know, I think we all did. I, I thought for when, a long time, yeah, yeah, yeah. And did. when she blew up, I, I was confused. Was uh, when she when, when the suit blows up, when you <laughs> die in Super point. Metroid, mm -hmm. I just see some yeah. chick with long blonde hair in a bikini. I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, so that's not a guy. <laughs> it's too bad they <laughs> did yeah, away she, with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then she became uh, one of my favorite like video game characters of all time. Love Super Metroid. Sam is the Love reason you like white women. Is that what it is? I, I guess you get. I guess I think it would be Laura Nothing Croft. Nothing to be ashamed about. Damn, that. okay. That's totally. Yeah, nothing to be ashamed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got. Yeah, I think it was Laura Croft. I think it was Laura Croft. Yep. And, then, and then when it came to Asian women, it was Chun Li. The great Chun -Li. robber. Chun Li made me in love with Asian women. <laughs> there you See, go. Chun Li didn't make me in love with Asian women, but she did make me in love with women with thick thighs. Like to this day, I'm a mm -hmm. thigh dude. Like I will take thighs over tits or ass any day, and that's probably because of Chun Li. Yeah, yeah, Chun Li. Yeah, my love. Have, for Asian how many women, women do you see with great thighs with no ass? Like, let's be real. I mean, that, that's true. Well, that's so, true someone yeah. told me that, that being a thigh rare. guy is just being uh, an ass is like ass light. So yeah, ass light. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty similar. Is that your uh, is that your uh, uh, is that your license plate, Leon? Thigh guy. Or a fine oh, man. I'm gonna make it my like life. Ass man from Seinfeld. Ass life. Right now, right now. So I'm gonna T H Y G U Y. I'll do that. Thai <laughs> guy. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Chun Li didn't even start looking Chinese until the late 2000s. Yeah, that, that's that's true. There wasn't a. Uh, <laughs> they couldn't really do that in terms of of the the graphics and whatnot back then. All oh, the Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo again was was one of my first games, and uh, my my go to was always Ken or Blanca. I Wretch shit with those two, and my dad would choose either Zangief or um, 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 e, e Honda, and I hated him, asshole. Just spam <laughs> throws, spam fucking flurry of palms. It was fuck my dad. I like, knew he yeah. was spamming <laughs> as soon as you said the characters wow. he chose. I think Brawl and Melee were like the only fighting games I've ever played. <laughs> I don't play fighting games. Uh, Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis was like. My entire Bro. neighborhood would come oh, around trying man. to pull off fatalities. And... Bro, Mortal Kombat <laughs> was, especially in Philly, I remember the first Mortal Kombat the commercial. Shit. Yeah, all the young boys, they yelling down the street saying Mortal Kombat and everything. And then, oh, and then the movie, what... that made a whole nother yes. level. Of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm talking about before that, we were all shit. playing the shit. Yeah, yeah and then exactly. the movie came out, and, and that on, was a whole nother thing. Yeah, on Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis was the one that had the blood, but the SNES yes. should have put a yeah. code in. I, I, see, remember, I had the I blood all that growing up. You had to put the yeah. code in on the SNES in order to get the blood and stuff. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like the, the game gene. When we were little, we work. all loved those movies when Mortal Kombat came out. We were like, the first oh, one's still holds up. Now we're like, these are terrible. Yeah, I love that. No, fuck you. That's like first Mortal horror. Kombat is still unironically a great movie. I get it. Still, mate, fuck you. I love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, the second one has always been trash, though. Okay, I don't like the second one, but I, yeah. I will, I don't shit on anyone that claims the second one. Even the second one, I could maybe compared to everything, those movies are pretty good now. <laughs> yeah, the music still holds up though. Yeah, that's, Mortal that's Kombat, true. that shit is goaded. Yeah, that is oh. true. I, I'm not doing this like I have a 
a like, not a love, but like I appreciate even the new Mortal Kombat movie. Like they they tried. Oh, and I it's, did not like. Uh, did they try? Not a, did not a good they did movie. not. Did they try, Leon? Movie. Everyone <laughs> pretended to like it when it came out. It's like, oh, Mortal Kombat movie. It's like this is really boring. Look into your heart again and tell me, do you think they tried? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think the reason I really like take a deep breath. We'll see Carl or Johnny Leon. Cage. Was it really as good as you hoped, was or were you it? thinking so it I, was going to? I, I, I fooled myself into liking it more because so so it came out during the lockdowns. And yeah. uh, my, yeah, movie exactly. theater, my, exactly. my movie theater was exactly. like, fuck it, we're, we're, we're still going to be open. And I was like, yeah. you mean it's oh, middle of COVID ballsy. and I get to still go see a movie in the theater? And so I think that's why I like it. It was just like, I felt free watching it. That is it. no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was another one. It was good like, because I was let out of prison for a day. <laughs> they got some of it, right? But yeah, Cole Young I was, got privileges. did not, yeah. he just did not know with your life, which is much, much worse, Leon. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I played a uh, Soul Caliber Five, I believe. It was oh yeah, Soul Caliber. That was that was Calibers, amazing. Yeah. I remember pissing off like every person I would fight because like I was able to like just beat them by one button mashing. Now, mind you, I was very young at the time, so I had no idea how to properly combo. Wait, you were young when Soul Caliber Five came out. How old are you, Dragon? Why is he twenty six, bro? Twenty six. Yeah, he just said earlier. You, you young forgot. fucks, yeah, bro. I, I, bro, sorry, I was I, fourteen I was back then. Come on, yeah, I was young, come I was on. young yeah. when Soul Calibur came out, not Soul Calibur <laughs> 5. Like, yeah, no, first, no, no, no. I mean, my first Soul fighting game, yeah, my first fighting game wasn't even Street Fighter, it was this fighting game on Sega Genesis called Fighting Masters and it had about like six characters. And it's it like this intergalactic tournament, bro. And is that the each, one that had the Atlantean? Yeah, you have to, you have oh this, my uh, god, yeah, you have this, I remember uh, it. You have this, like, this uh, man like elephant, you have this crab like um creature, you have a human character. And you yeah. have this Cyclops with boxing gloves named Uppercut. And the thing is, these characters represent their planet. And when they die, it's this big explosion that happens in the background, and it represents that, that their planet blew up. What? And that was the first oh, fighting cool. game I ever played when I was young. I was about like six Ooh. years old. And did, at did game night, I found it, by the way. Yeah. The uh, Shaq Fu was trash. Uh, Shaq, dude, I knew it was a kid. I knew as a kid it was bad, but it was still so much fucking fun. Like, this is this is the nineties, and like the NBA was the biggest thing ever. Uh, I grew up with NBA. everybody a massive Michael Jordan yeah. fan, Charles yeah. Barkley fan. Mm -hmm. So Shaq, Shaq getting a fighting game was the coolest shit ever. But I could never get past like the second fight. Uh, Star yeah, I, Fox, I could not get into that. Game. Oh, Star Fox is my shit. Dude. So oh, every day before that. school, oh, my yeah, homie yeah, had a Nintendo sixty four. We would play oh, Goldeneye and Star Fox, and then come mm -hmm. home and. Play Goldeneye and Star Fox would be elite. Star Fox is my shit. Yeah, Star Fox. I, uh, my first Star Fox encounter was Star Fox on the SNES because my dad had it, but it was revolutionary at the time. Is because the um, they had it was the, like 3D, uh, the Super like, FX, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but also the advertisement. They were like Star Fox, and then were like puppets, like the Muppets and stuff like that in the advertisement. By the I way, a movie a that would make a, a billion dollars right now if they did yeah. that right. Oh, Ooh. yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. Just that right? that would if be they did it right. Yeah, yeah that, that would be <laughs> awesome. And I, I used to see the commercial, and I was like, hey, Dad, get that game with the dog on the box. I thought it was a dog. <laughs> I didn't know it was a fox. And then my dad ended up buying it. It says Starbucks it. on the box. Are you really no, no, but I was so young. I would just see the dog. I would just see the dog. I was just it's like the a dog. same <laughs> no matter what. Yeah, so uh, my dad. Dogs are canines, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my dad had bought the game on the SNES, and man, it was just so revolutionary. It was, it, it, that was like the future to me, seeing those polygons mm -hmm. and everything like that. And it was just, it was just dope. So when six, when Nintendo sixty four Star Fox came out, my mind yeah, was, was blown because these yeah, motherfuckers are talking now. They're talking yeah. and and everything. The rumble. It was like watching a movie. It looked a lot better. I, I looked yeah. at, it at looked, the time. The sixty four looked a lot better. I remember uh, going to the store and seeing the demo. Mm -hmm. I seen the demo of it, and I was like, it, it made me want to rent it because. I saw. I remember the original Star Fox, and I don't know. It never really, never really. Yeah, I never really See, got. I into didn't. It, so, I did. Yeah. Like I said, I only had that original Nintendo, and then my homie had the the uh, sixty four. So it was just like, oh, what's this? This flying game that is like I'm in the future all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. And Goldeneye, obviously, first time I ever saw a P ninety. Oh man, Goldeneye. Goldeneye. Yeah. yeah. And back when I first learned about guns because of Goldeneye. <laughs> yes. Hey, I got. I learned about. Yes. I have gotten to Bond. So when I played the uh, Goldeneye Great for movie the first too. time, and I watched the, uh, I watched all the Bond movies. As a, and, and when I was in high school in the late in the early 2000s, dude, yeah. perfect thing because I saw the man with the golden gun mm -hmm. and Moonraker when I was unlocking yeah, you those levels in Golden Eyes. So the Moonraker yeah. laser, oh, yeah, that's cool. and the golden gun. I know, I know, it's not video game related, but since Bond came up, a guy asked, "What's everyone's favorite Bond theme?" Because like, like everyone says, oh, "I'm yeah, sure we're gonna go with Bond." Abuse, you went with Abuse theme. Was my favorite Bond theme, and people are like, "That's a whack you know, take." So I want to know oh, your guys' man. favorite. I have no I have idea. Not, like, I, I like no Thunder. Uh, I like that Chris Cornell. <laughs> you, you know my name one, the one from uh, Casino Royale. 
Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the all the all the sixties and seventy ones were were great. Yeah, my brothers had a, a Bond marathon like last week. Yeah, I never watched the whole, nice. watched the all of them. Just watch the guys, Sean Connery ones. You guys, ever see the uh, Simpsons episode uh, with uh, Hank Scorpio? And they, yeah. they had they had their own little theme song for Hank Scorpio, kind of like yeah. the Goldfinger theme. The know? Hammock District. And well, then I saw third. I thought it was a made up weapon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me too. Jim Pachi, I swear yeah, to God, really? me too. Yeah, I didn't know it was real. And then uh, I think like a couple That's years hilarious. later, Stargate uh, SG One, they switched from MP5s to the P90 because it was like the futuristic like uh -huh. top loader belt. Yeah, yeah really not P90 really like the internal really cool. cartridge. Yeah, <laughs> I love it's it. sick gun though. And then of course in Counter Strike, I think yeah, when everyone That's where I was introduced to it myself. Yeah, that was I something that Resident Evil. Oh, by the way, many a year in uh, PC can uh at the day back in the day on LAN PC uh what yeah, so called like uh, arcades yeah two dollars mm. an hour basically and yeah. you'd just be playing yeah, Counter -Strike. I only have like eight hundred oh, yeah. hours in Counter Strike or CSGO that is yeah. Yeah. Does it only have eight hundred hours in Counter Strike because yeah. <laughs> I have five thousand hours playing Dota. 1.6 so or whatever the hell. Terrible. I've never even played Counter Strike before. Never played it. I I've know a lot of it. Of the one my life is a team I've really loved. Or you gotta like, be a fiend that, actually. I like, played Overwatch, I tried Dollar, and it's like I tried these other ones like that are just not as good. I do. Oh mm, bro, terribly. I played uh I played Overwatch when like I think I, I, think, I played like, season, no, I played I played I played up to like season three of yeah, competitive baseball, and bro like, oh, I wasn't good yeah enough. bro Dude, okay but back in the day yeah back in the day when i was like 14 15 16 17 there's fucking nothing yeah. to do but there was internet cafes where they had like <laughs> t1 connections which yeah. was actually everything else is dial up yeah so you would yeah. dial up yeah. an hour Playing oh, a computer that was, that was better than you get. That's why we were playing <laughs> Oregon Trail because the computer yeah. didn't oh, yeah. work. Trail. <laughs> counter strike bro Oregon Trail oh my god learning about history and dysentery remember remember aol instant messenger be playing oh, yeah. until oh, two in the man. morning. No. Who's at computer 13? You fucking camper. You'd be <laughs> yelling around there, like just lagging in the corner. Yeah. 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 You guys are all playing. One of my first guys... jobs, though, one of my first jobs was selling T1 phone lines. It was supposed to just be for businesses, but every now and again, you get some Gamers. rich motherfucker who would call in and just be like, no, I want a T I want T1 lines installed in my house so that I can game. Like, that was a, <laughs> a relatively common call. Be like, I was listening wow. to Joe okay, Rogan. He's thousands playing... of dollars to spend. That's commission for me. Like, Doom back in the day and got oh, T1 yeah. just to play uh, Doom. Dune back in yeah, the yeah, Quake yeah, yeah. to play Quake uh, competitively. Yeah. That's oh, like, yeah, that's right. Honestly, yeah. I, I was that Walmart brand kid was playing to. Unreal Tournament, not yeah. Quake. Like, look, oh, yeah, I, I, love, um, I had Unreal Tournament for the uh, PS2 when the PS2 had launched, and that was my first introduction mm -hmm. to Unreal. I love the hell out of that game. Love the hell wait, out wait. of it. I, I got a question for y'all. Okay, so well, for those of you who played Overwatch and maybe even dabble in competitive, what's the highest rating you ever got in competitive Overwatch? Okay. Oh, I forgot. I, I, I was trash. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I did play ranked. Like, it I got a point where my roommate seriously. was like, "Hey, I'm going to yeah. teach you how to play Mercy, just so that I can have someone." To <laughs> just so I can have a pocket <laughs> healer. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I was always like, my guy was bro. That's why I always played. Because yeah, I always played. Always with my brothers. Like me yeah, and my brothers yeah. and their friends, so we always had a team mm -hmm. and everything. But when I try to yeah. play Overwatch with random people, worst experience. People just take it sucks so bad with random people. Yeah, random people it sucks. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, Red mercy. Yeah. And then I would be like, fuck you, I'm gonna be Zenyatta. <laughs> yeah, like, I would just feel happy. Problem with trying, like, the core problem with Overwatch is like trying to coordinate increasing amounts of people is hard. Yeah. The reason mm -hmm. MOBAs kind of work is because of yeah. how people can play off each other individually. Lots mm -hmm. of things will have very spread yes. out effects. Like one person is a stun person, one person is a damage person, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Tank. But for Overwatch, you have two of each. So you have three different types of people. You have the person healed, you have the person healed, you have the person damaged, you have damage. And you have to get all these people to go in hey. at the same time and do everything correctly at the same oh. time. Mm -hmm. And it's I'm faster sorry, than... It's like, it can yeah. go faster than the moment. You yeah. always get someone going, Leroy Jenkins! Like, you can say <laughs> Noda and League are really fast. But the no, mistake, the fucking Reinhardt yeah. charging in the middle of nowhere, yeah. thinking he's going to get, like, that clutch charge kill. And yeah. Yeah. Failed, like, <laughs> <laughs> the right play, I remember it doesn't that. work because some stupid yeah. healer didn't pop his ult. Yeah. <laughs> you know so, I, mean? I remember, uh, I got to, like, I got to actually Grandmaster rank as Zenyatta. And I remember one time, some, some asshole, like, right before I hit Grandmaster rank at the time, he goes, hey, bro, change out of the fucking Zenyatta, man. We don't take scrubs here. And then some other guy's like, nah, nah, bro, let him play it. He's cool. He won me like five matches in a row. And I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks. 
Yeah, that was actually quite well known. Yeah, like, as MOBA, long as you can like, deal some DPS and no one's pop your ult, your Zenyatta's gonna be good, at least back in the I, day. I, I was the bane of Genji's and Tracers. They fucking hated yeah. me because they thought I was, like, a, a prime target, and then I would, like, debuff them and headshot them in a split second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they would die instantly. Zenyatta's so they, much fun. Especially I, if they, yeah, yeah, if they just make one little mess up, if they sit there too long, you just kill them. Yeah, yeah I never, so I never, uh, I never got, I never got into the whole online thing when everybody was playing really? WoW when it came out. I was actually getting into JRPGs for the first yeah, time. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, I didn't get out either. Moved away from multiplayer myself, but I did like playing a lot of online games. I got into WoW for two weeks, and it was just because everyone I knew was playing it, and I didn't want to be the only person left out. So I tried it, and I was just like, it's not really my thing. I never <laughs> saw, I never, yeah. saw, I never saw the appeal. I, I yeah. just never did. It's just so, like so, okay, so, so you have to you know, pay to play a monthly. I'm you going have, to let there, you know there are two why there's an MMOs, appeal because yeah. I started playing WoW two years ago, and I, I started playing WoW behind. because, oh, because my wife that. because my wife and I split up. I needed a distraction, and I heard you can sink thousands of hours in a WoW. And let me tell you, you it worked. All that time spent raiding and doing oh, PvP and shit. I was not thinking though? about the fact that I was now single and wow. unmarried. He's so, such a greenhorn and wow! I, I remember I, been, I was playing. That's that the game. same as saying you liked fucking uh, Mortal Kombat because you were allowed to go outside. That's not a real opinion on actual quality. Of just game. excuses to play yeah. a game. <laughs> yeah, like the reason WoW is popular is like the yeah. incremental nature of improving your character, going mm -hmm. over like leveling. Like people yeah. enjoy that and what it, and like the reward loop it has. Mm -hmm. And the other part is the social aspect of like hanging out with other people. yeah that's the, that's the two reasons people enjoy playing wow i, yeah. I never that took was one of the first of the ones where like, everyone could be talking to each other at the same time yeah yeah, yeah i never played wow but my yeah. first mmo experience was final fantasy 11 love the hell out mm -hmm. of that game that game was fucking brutal and i remember when i first got the game never played the mmo and i was in 11th grade when i played it at the time and it was it was already two expansion packs ahead at the time and i remember when i first got in created my character and everything and i'm walking around and i act, i see a bunch of people walking around i wasn't sure if they was npcs or real players so i walked yeah. up to one of the guys i typed to him and said are you real and he looked at <laughs> <laughs> i remember doing that same shit yeah. and he started uh, laughing he said, yeah. he said of course i am and then that was the first mm -hmm. experience he showed me around the area where to buy items and how the combat system work and it's the community aspects of mmos that just make it fun i used to look forward every day after coming at, coming out of school running straight home into my, you know, my link shell, which is like the clan or whatever, and just hang out with people and just raid and everything. Love yeah. Final Fantasy XI. Love yeah. it. My first, uh, my first computer good enough to actually play it uh, was just in time for the Matrix Online to come out, and I played it for the full oh, five years. It was yeah. actually really. Yeah. <laughs> It was great. Wait, wait, what is Mate? I've played Matrix games. I've never heard of Matrix Online. You know, it, was, it, was, it was like yeah. a follow up yeah. to it, it was uh, when Revolutions, the if I remember correctly, out. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Follow up to Revolutions. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it I, was mm -hmm. it was billed as the sequel to the movies, and that yep. everything that happened was canon. And we just found out the movie that came out that it, it wasn't fucking deed canon, uh, including Wait, so anyway. the newest movie references Matrix Online. Yes, it does. Yes. Yep. What? Holy yep. Shit. yep. I had no in a idea. bad fucking way. It was a shitty. It was a shitty movie, but I did feel fulfilled in some ways because it's like back in the day, it's like I fucking told you Neo was still alive, you motherfucker. Anyway, I told you Morpheus died. <laughs> it was five years of. Uh, it was a very fun game. It's time. Really good martial arts system. Mm. You could choose between like karate, aikido, and kung fu. Uh, there were live events with real movie characters and characters made for it, played by members of the development team that then eventually had it was. Player run I, in conjunction. It was a whole fucking thing. It was a great I know that they build it to where like you could go into any building and stuff like that. Yeah. Too. Oh, you could go into any building it. and the missions. Yeah. Would, yeah, yeah. And the white uh, halls were there and the developer halls. Yeah, it was a great time for what it was. Great memories in that one. And then, uh, yeah, I played Star Wars Galaxies for like the last two years before it went out. And then I still and still play beta tested and still played uh, the Old Republic one. Star Wars: The Old Republic. Yeah, I, I didn't play the Old Republic, but I like right? still, now, still play it. Yeah, I used the Old Republic though. That was my shit. I, and yes, I've um, played that more times than probably any other game years of my life. Game, <laughs> it's right? fucking modded yeah, and yeah. otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Man, uh, is arguing because he claims it doesn't hold up. I still play. Fuck you, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah. I just find that you like older RPGs. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Like there's some things that are like archaic. You could say because it's like slower and some aspects and just well if you have a tiktok mentality you need a trailer yeah. before your trailer but for if you could just <laughs> enjoy quality for quality RPG, it still holds up it. well you young like, whippersnapper yeah, i will record now it. Old man <laughs> 2000 plus it still holds up it's got cinematics yeah yeah 
Yeah, it's uh, like, yeah, like it was I, very, I hadn't played it in was very years. Good for time. I still have no the, problem with it. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't played it in years. It was still on, it was on sale on the Switch for like five bucks. I was like, you know what? Let's go it's ahead. It's everywhere. And, and it was you could get it on the it phone. Was, it, it was amazing. It was yeah. like reliving hey, dollars. Like this game is still fuck on you, man. Did you have phones? <laughs> Kotor was my jam. I remember playing that, uh, playing like I can be the bad guy. Always, dude. Of course yep. you went Sith because yep. you want you yep. wanted to bang um um oh, what's her name? Uh, because it's fun. Get the a band. No, the, 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 you're talking about number two. It, no, in, in the first one, the, the main chick who starts off as a Jedi and she goes dark side. Like, yeah, you yeah. can redeem her. Bastille, you don't have to go dark side to fuck her. No, that's what I said. Then you just ignored her. You're like, no, nah, it couldn't be her. I, 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 I didn't think that was her name. I, I, I thought yeah. you said. I thought you said in uh, Kotor two. So I was like, yeah, no, I, I said Bastila. You're like, no, and I was like, in oh, Kotor yeah, 2. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, you're right. Bastila, Bastila Shan. My bad. Thank you. I said it correctly. He, oh, he, my oh if, if I've been saying it wrong my whole know, life, I've always said this. How many times <laughs> we to teach you this all less than old man? Oh. Actually, I I'm think they do say retard. your name. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the original game as well. Yeah. We all find out eventually. They have voice lines. They should say her name in the original game. Oh, they do. Yeah, it's like yep, no, nope, I'm just I'm just retarded. I'm deaf in one ear, okay? He just keeps he just <laughs> keeps digging. That's Leon just keeps digging. Hey, look, y'all gotta admit, like those old Republic cinematics, every time I show it to like oh, some man, normie or a regular so yeah, yeah. yeah. No, uh, I show blur. it to like a Right? Yes, you don't even have to play yeah, games yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. You show them to like a, a normal like Star Wars fan and they're like, why hasn't anyone why hasn't anyone made like a movie or show just about this? They're and then, because you know, Kathleen Kennedy doesn't think stink. We have books. Yeah, what's our, what's yeah. our philosophy again? Put a chicken in and make her gay. Nah, it it great games, great games. You're gonna devolve me into shitting on Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, Kotor <laughs> still holds it up. They're all great. Go yeah. play them. Even honestly, like, oh, well, it's not bad right now. Especially Kotor too. I think like, the, still the PS1 era. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Everybody loved that shit. The okay, so Kotor got rushed, and it took like five years for the Sith Lord restoration project to finally come out that restores like a bunch of the the stuff that should have been finished because obsidian mm. wasn't able to do it i think like, even the whole new game, planet there's still so much good story stuff there that's so much fun to go through it's worth playing even uh, on space yeah, yeah but also you could also download yeah. the fucking free yeah. stories of project okay. and play through because it's super confusing as fuck at the end there's so many elements that have been it cut out that then get put yeah. back yeah and then yeah. the malachor arc at the end makes a lot more sense of what happens yeah. to everyone yeah. Did anybody uh play Star Wars Demolition growing up? It's a Star Wars Twisted mm. Metal, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. so. And Masters of Terra Kasai, the fighting game. <laughs> yeah, I, played Ma I didn't know. I was Terra too young Kasi. to realize it was bad. I was like, oh, Star Wars fighting. This is fun. I, I saw lightsabers. I wanted it. Yep. It was a Mortal Kombat game. Of course. <laughs> yeah, Demolitions was supposed to be like the uh, Twisted Metal of uh, yeah, all the vehicles. It, it, you, you could you could play as like Boba Fett was the only one not in a vehicle. His jetpack counted as a vehicle, so you're just oh, awesome. flying around oh, Boba God. Fett taking on like ATLTs and shit. It was oh, oh. that game was so great. <laughs> I had on the Dreamcast. Um, and the Phantom Menace game on PS One was also a I blast. played that. You just slaughtered all one. the Gungans. Yeah. <laughs> Obi Wan and you go up to the meeting, you just start chopping everything. And Jedi uh, power <laughs> battles, which came like right after it. When you that one finishes, like, uh, Moon, Mace, Jedi Wind, and Adia Gilla and Mace, yeah, yeah and you could there was flying and fighting on it, yeah. You guys, play the Super Star Wars trilogy on uh, Super Nintendo. Those are hard. Oh yeah, yeah, I had those. I had, I, I could, I can't. Yes. I had to have the game Genie to beat. They were Super hard Star as hell. Wars. Yes, oh, yeah, I, I remember. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, so some of the old games I have gone through are like the Star Wars Dark Forces, based on like Doom. I played Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces Dark. Two. I played. Oh shit! If we that, years of my yeah, life. I played Jedi, Jedi Forces, Academy and Jedi uh, Outcast, Jedi Academy. Yeah, I yeah. haven't gone through Jedi Outcast yet. That's Shadows like of the oh, Empire. Oh, dude. <laughs> Two, oh, you're, you're the N64, Shadows of the Empire. Yeah. Oh, now you're, Shadows of the Empire is to this day my favorite Star Wars game. Like I know Kotor is certainly better, but Shadows of the Empire is my you, favorite you, Star Wars you, you game. You know why? You know I have such a fond memory of that one because it was they added Mario 64 were the first two because I we couldn't afford the system N64 back in the day, so we rented it, and it came with two games to rent. So my dad rented Shadows of the Empire and Mario 64, and because of that, I mean that's that's to me those are the 3D games. That was a good event too. Childhood. Audiobook, Rolls comic book, regular good. book. I just want to say Kyle Katarn is my favorite Star Wars character of all time. So He's glad they haven't character. fucked with him because really? they'll ruin him. But Kyle Katarn, hands oh, down, yeah. Jet you from guys play the remake Dark of Forces. Dark Sources. Yeah. yeah. I say from Dark Forces to Dark Forces mm. to Jedi Knight to Jedi Knight Jedi Outcast Jedi Knight to Jedi Outcast to Jedi Academy, 
God, and then he's in some of the books later on. But yeah, Kyle Katarn, man, such a it, it, Chuck Norris of the Star Wars universe. Top five for me, I wouldn't say he's not mm -hmm. my favorite. Because honestly, my favorite is Dash Rendar. So it's that same era of like them really going all in on the EU. But, but Kyle Katarn is yeah. top five, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But Otaku the Great has a really good question. What is everyone's favorite movie tie-in game? Oh, Spider-Man Two. Sp mm -hmm. Spider-Man Two. You know what a really good one was? I was going to mention it when you were talking about the Matrix Online was Enter the Matrix. That game was really yes. fucking fun. Yes, yes it was. Yeah, real movie it, footage, like an hour of actual real movie Real footage, it actually played in well, so you could like yeah. spot how the characters played along with it. And the mm. fighting mechanics were just really fun. I think, yeah. movie, the movie Connor was written was Star Wars Episode 1. Bro, Richard, Butcher Bay? Really yeah, Butcher Bay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butcher Bay, yes. Rich, yeah, yeah. Right. You know what? Wolverine Origins has a chip movie. Great game. Yeah, definitely. Yep. I haven't played any movie tie-in games since like probably the NES era. So I think the one that I like the most, I still play to this day, is uh, the and the, it came actually came out and the, the game came out here in the United States first before the movie did. The movie the game's called The Dream Master. Little Nemo's The Dream Master, and then the oh, movie was true. called Adventures in Slumberland. But that didn't come out in the U.S. for like another couple of years. Did you so know the game came out first game? before that came out. Did, did it was you a Capcom know it was movie tie-in game when you were playing it. No, so I, I saw the movie. So I saw the movie. I saw the commercial. I went and saw them. We rented the movie on VHS. I was like, "Wow, this is in the game. That's in the game." But where's the music? The, none of the music was was in the movie because it was all made. It was all Capcom music. I'm um, say Pat and Neo. Ray Dead Pool remembers that game. So yeah, I've never never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna it, say yeah. Enter the Matrix, but why I said it. So Path of Neo. Also, I think that counts as a movie tie-in because it's sort of all the yeah. movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get to go in and choose different, like, like what if he didn't get captured by the agents or? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Less. I my, like, the, the movie tying game, I said Star Wars Episode One Racer, and that was like one of the first games I've ever played, like on PC. Like, yeah, I, like game, the actually. oldest, I think the first game I remember playing that wasn't like one of those ones that was already installed in Windows was Chex Quest. <laughs> Dude, Shex Quest was played. legit. I to this day yeah, love Shex Quest. That's just crap. It's just Doom. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. What was that on? And, uh, another thing? Doom knockoff that was really good was Hexen. I don't know if anyone played Hexen or not. No, no I've seen it. someone I've review that. it, and I was like, "Holy shit, this actually looks like it could be fun." It is. There is a, a, there is a newer game inspired by Hexen Sword called it Medieval, and that's one I have as well. Yeah, there's also a Bolt Gun. You know, I mean, yeah, the, the, the Medieval. Oh, remake you're talking about just Boomer yeah, shooters. There's so many yeah. of those. There's so many. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Boomer shooter. Uh, what I, what I a just boomer played. Shooter? <laughs> Wait, oh, no, he was a boomer shooter. Boomer shooter. Yeah. Yeah, it's up for all those old pros. Like, yeah. are similar to those old shooters. Yeah, fast yeah, movement. Yeah. <laughs> They're called yeah, boomer yeah, shooters yeah, because us boomers <laughs> played them before. I, I say that's I'm not playing a millennial, game. but boomers played them before like yeah. Halo and then popularized yeah. because there wasn't a thing as FPS per se. So mm, when you yeah. go back and talk about games like Doom or or oh, I mean, Turner, you mentioned not, it, called, yeah. Called, so by the way, like, Halo yeah. was one of my greatest shooting oh, experiences yeah, as a kid. Co op with uh, my brother, hardcore Halo. Until you find the covenant, yeah. All the way to the third one, Halo Reach, I actually think is probably the best. That Halo game badass. in and of itself mm -hmm. because there's no level where I go, I don't want to play this. Every level is oh, good. You're right. Yeah. Uh, Halo 2 was where I really got. Uh, that was the no last Halo I level. played was Halo Reach. So Halo I have not played any of the 3 4 3 games at all. I didn't play mm -hmm. any of the ones in between. Yeah, yeah, but I, Halo 2 got me into fucking online gaming mm -hmm. and everything. That opened up a whole new door to yep. gaming to me with Halo 2. See, Halo Reach. You know who in the chat really likes Halo Reach? Angry Canadian. Shout out to Angry Canadian. Halo Reach was angry anyone. was my game, bro. I love that shit. That was That was amazing at the time. And I'm you know, I got Canadian. a good one. It, it, Reach has the yeah. best story, absolutely. It does have the I, best I, story. Dude, like, oh, yeah. it was epic, you know, like the way it all ended. Well rounded oh. characters, stakes. diverse yep. characters, diverse mm -hmm. characters. Stop done it. properly. Stop it, you. No, done yeah. properly. <laughs> done properly. <laughs> that's that's we were spinning the other day. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. 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 The reason the I only played those now. two games is because those were the only games in the Master Chief Collection when I played it. Yeah, yeah. I say thankfully that they, Master they Chief Collection the games in the Master Chief holds up very yeah. fucking well. I got play all. I can play all of them. ODST. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't even like RTS, and I played Halo Wars. I, I thought the Master Chief Collection was just one through three. I didn't realize no. ODST. Oh, really? uh, it's ODST. It's Reach. It's yeah. like really. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I might it's need totally to pick up the Master it. Collection then because I thought it was literally just Halo one, two, and three. No, but yeah. I bought. Honestly, well, I, I think I bought Halo, Xbox the first the game Halo, one time. Honestly, for today, it just is decent. 
I don't really think it holds up as like a no legend. girls allowed, Vex. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's We're like going back to the boomer days. Enough, in terms of a newer player going back to it, I don't think it's that impressive because it's just how many new games. Have no, but at the time, man, yeah. that shit was insane. I think the main thing for me is some of the levels, like the I don't remember which one it was, but the ISIL right before the library, I believe, where you're going up and down the bridges and going in and outside all the mm-hmm. time. That one is just such a slog, and I, I hate it. There's that a couple level. of them that are level, slogs. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Reach doesn't have that. There's no levels where I'm like, Reach oh shit, I'm dreading, yeah. I'm dreading like a boss or a section or like fuck the flood. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Fuck the flood. Yeah. Fuck yeah. the flood, yeah. yeah. dude. I agree. Yeah. I hated the yeah. fucking yeah. flood yeah. so much. I just know <laughs> on the hardest I level. Didn't think like, library fuck is the flood. Legendary. It's like traumatizing. Yeah. Yes. Super traumatizing. I like I had so much fun shooting the covenant, and then the flood level, I'm like, fuck! Damn it! And, like and then we'd be doing through. it. And I'm like, what? Who thinks matter. this is fun? What yeah, kind of basic yeah. thinks this is fun? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? It's tough We're doing it for glory. Shooting when you're fighting the flood, you're just yeah. Keep moving. You just run it. Yeah. yeah. And then you really 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 so. I, just that, and that Halo is not fun. Mm. There's not like any oh. fun to the like walking. <laughs> yeah, I hate forward. the flood. We're done right. That's what I was gonna say. Because any writer's like, no, I don't dread anything. I say bullshit every time I hear my comrades dying over the radio, and I know there's nothing I can do. I'm dreading it. Like, it, it, you don't even need to see on screen deaths, and it makes you yeah. feel for this shit. Like, you walk yeah. in that fucking room, and then you see everyone, uh, and you start hearing their screams over it. Like, yeah. <laughs> And again, great oh. Space Marine vibes uh, yeah. from aliens. Totally. And mm-hmm. Oh, you remember Starship the uh, Space Marine, the for, the, spa- the Warhammer 40k uh, Space Marine game? You guys remember that one? I've never played. I've never seen. Oh. I've seen oh. it. Yeah. Y'all gotta play it before game. before Space Marine too. Bro, comes that's out. so yeah, funny. Great, great Dead Pulio said you sound like a 40k player. To drag it for I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I hear you go clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> it up. Fucking I mean, call you I played, out, bro. Wait, he wait, wait, wait. It. I played I played Medieval 2 Total War, Rome Total War, and I think Rome Total War is sick. You started yeah. that. He's like, I don't just play Warhammer, I have other personal. <laughs> I, 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 I do, do other play, war games too. I don't too. play turn based <laughs> games. I play RTSs. I'm a, I'm cultured like that. Oh, you're so I cool. believe you I are. I mean, I play I play oh, art, I play oh, ARPGs too. Mo- 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 <laughs> about to go off though. Dimsy bringing up Fantasy Star Online. Oh, oh this man. Is interesting. Dude, yeah, I'm sure you play Diablo Dragon Lord. Love Fantasy oh, Star. Oh, I have. Yeah, Love I'm it. sure you play RPGs, yeah. <laughs> just extreme violence. Yeah, just just like Dark Souls, the RPG. I, no, I fucking I fucking couldn't stand Dark Souls, but then I played other games similar to it, and I was like, oh, okay, this is more interesting when there's an actual story to follow, where it's just <laughs> like, yeah, at least you know why people want to crush you, you know, and, and that way you can yeah. progress. I also don't like games where the skill is just memorization of fucking attack patterns. Yeah. Like, I get that that yeah. is a skill in and of itself, memorization and the twitch reflexes of it, but I would prefer bosses that have just a more f- easier flow than just like he's gonna swing now and I have to jump and then I have yeah. to jump. Yeah, like, no, I mean, the, I've, I've only ever played one Lots Souls like game. Dark it was, Souls it was of bosses P. do have good flow mm, to them in terms Lies of, of yeah, yeah, when they do yeah, specific attacks, they're going to follow up with another specific attack. Usually they have mm, chains yeah. that they go down, and you'll so I mean, I play Fallen yeah. Order and Jedi Survivor. That's the people describe it as Dark Souls esque. So especially <laughs> maybe on the harder difficulties. So I liked Fallen Order a lot, but I heard Survivor was shit. I like it. It was the definitely High Republic, the, court, the High Republic influence issue. is the worst part of it. Yeah. But I, I, they did not disrespect Cal. He's a strong, white, straight character in a heteronormative relationship, and the women didn't shit on him. So that's a victory in and of itself. And yeah. apparently, we're getting that third one. That's so a dear thing? God. In but today's gaming space? So you, you guys say Survivors like is worth it? Don't hurt him. I, I would play it. Me personally, I would say to play one it. One thing yeah. that's really strange to me is how EA like sells its games. If Because all their single player games, like the Jedi Survivor and whatnot, they just like drop in price precipitously. Oh, it's on. They, it's like it's on down, sale right now for it's sure. It's like two dollars, three dollars after like two years or something, and then they give them away free as well. It's nice. just kind of crazy to me. Yeah, and remember, guess, uh, remember when Star Wars was uh, to, like their remember, FIFA and Madden. Remember when Star Wars was fun and yeah. so playing playing Jedi Fallen Order. That was, was before like, your wow. time, Dragon Slayer. I was like, what? wow. <laughs> wait, wait, which game? Hold on. Just, just, I, when, when Star Fallen, Wars was fun. Something, something. Oh, something. fuck no. I played good Star Wars games, yeah. but I, I I showed up later, okay? I I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't control when it showed up. Mm. It, it, was, it was a breath of fresh air to Fallen see something Order? that was prequel esque. Yeah. Because it was made mm-hmm. by people that didn't hate it or you. So, like, yeah, That's if true. I had superpowers, I've always said everything Disney made is gone except for Cal Kestis. You get to stay. Yep. You and Fallen Order, <laughs> you, you boy, you, you stay right there nice and safe. Uh, so what do you, you think is going to ultimately. Uh, I got a second for you then, Badger, not because not you, you played it. 
Ooh. And no, I saw in the trailer that Cal Kestis visits the Jedi archives. I'm like, fuck it, I'm out. They fucked up the lore. Like, it, is that explainable then? Because that rubbed me the wrong way when I saw him visiting the archives in the trailer. No, because it's like he breaks in through the underbelly, and it's uh, he's like it's one little section, and uh, it's no. And at that time, uh, the Emperor had already turned it into a palace, and like it's the lower levels and the shit that only Jedi knew. And it's real quick. It's it's nothing. Okay, First that, of all, the lore's already been it, broken, but but like enough. in and of the lore, no, it did. Was, why would they? It it's already in tatters. Yeah, why would they? Why would they? Like, why would, who cares? Why Thanos would they, can show up, and you're like, sure. I believe. Why? Uh, why would that Jedi be an issue, uh, Leon? Why would that be an issue? Be, because, because in the lore, by this point, the Jedi are effectively eradicated, despite the fact that we keep seeing Jedi They're popping up willy nilly as if Order 66 didn't matter. And then the idea, yes, it's around the time when buried the it's fucking a, archive it's around the time when vader is still hunting jedi down it's mm. still within the first five to ten years now granted okay. uh, yes way more fucking jedi survived more that's jedi what, survived uh, 66 than existed before it right yeah, that, that being that said <laughs> boy there's a lot of jedi uh, running the, around considering that's what they vader all did killed. that's what vader did for at least 10 to 15 years is hunt jedi so within the that's first true. it's completely understandable and he has yeah. distractions as to why he doesn't have everyone going like it's explained in the context of the game of why he's able but to yeah that's it. That, that, but that's that's why it would have bothered me, uh, Nerborial, is the idea that what Palpatine did to the archives was yeah. like, the ultimate disrespect yeah. and travesty. So I thought it was so when I see the, in, in the trailer that Cal's getting in there, I'm like, this you're is correct. To be one of the most buried, high guarded, like forgot people on Coruscant don't even know that archives still exist. Like you're it's, it's, you're correct, but at the wrong time period. Your rage should be reserved for anything when Luke Skywalker is alive in a Jedi. Like he should be the only one <laughs> <guy laughs> back around doing anything. Right? So, like, so I got I got a question. Do you think that they'll they will Ezra Bridger uh Cal Kestis to get rid of him by the time the original trilogy assuming they I mean at this uh, point do they even really care about continuity? It would be spoilers for Jedi Survivor, but there's a very easy explanation of why you would never see him again in any mainstream event, and it would be just fine for his character. There's okay. there's a place and a time and a thing and a thing he's doing, and I hope they follow up on that in the third one. Okay. okay. So, so you, you may I guess I'll play the game. Yeah. I really like the first yeah. one. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I like, like the first one a lot, too. So, yeah, if you recommend Look, it, The only negative like to Jedi Survivor priest, is I do it, own it. <laughs> The only negatives I think to Jedi Survivor is that they have some High Republic influence and like a character and a couple things that like they're just lackluster. Could have yeah. had a more imposing villain, uh, and they focus more on the the, the 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 main villain is lackluster, and then the second villain didn't get as much time as they should have. But other than that, Cal's story, I think it's just fine, just great, okay. and I'm excited for the next one. Cool. Mm. Damn, well, come, coming from somebody that hates Disney as much as I was going to say, no. you know, for Disney real problems. hard right now. <laughs> I'll give Cal his due. I'll give Cal his due. I like that character. I like Cameron Monaghan. I like the way he talks behind the scenes about the character and that he wouldn't want to do anything unless it was of note and, like, really move the character story along, like, live action-wise. Well, yeah, even, the story even the was first really one, good. I liked what's yeah. her name? The, the 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 main like the uh, Jedi that cut herself off from the Force, the CC or CC? Deborah, Deborah Wilson. I like uh, her. Sarah. Sarah. I like her yeah, apprentice, yeah, Sarah. actually. I like the night, yeah, not the night sister. sister. No, yeah, the third Mary? sister. The third sister was cool. Oh, the third sister. Yeah, no, there's yeah. a bunch of well-written characters. It's yeah, shocking. There were. It's, it's oh, not something the, you the, see. The night normal. sister. It's like we know where all the Google Disney writers like. went. Yeah, she was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Sarah's really good. Marin's yeah. really good. All the that's the thing. All the female characters are great and fully formed. They have their own agency. All the things they like to say. Yeah, uh, they and they don't the shit on Cal to look good. It's like talent is all that matters at the end of the day. And Kenobi. Oh, what's that? What Reva is called the third sister in Kenobi. <laughs> yeah, fuck her. The... that's that's not canon. Yeah, that doesn't agree. 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 Yeah, fuck her. That was know. a bad dream. We all saber had. proof. <laughs> oh, dude, R2 Lilo, uh, R2 Litu bringing oh. up the uh, the old arcade cabinet. I love mm -hmm. that. The X Wing arcade cabinet, mm -hmm. or maybe yeah. it was a TIE fighter. I don't remember which. I think it was an X Wing, wasn't it? They had a uh, couple had X Wing versus TIE fighter. Yeah, it was probably both. TIE fighter. Then yeah, there was I, the trilogy game, like in actual arcades that you could yeah. sit there and pay and like fight Vader if you got to the level. Yeah, and you like I did that. You fly into the desert. Yeah, that yeah, shit like, dropped like twenty bucks yeah, a quarter. Yeah, I love that game. Get into yeah, we, we, we had that at my I local arcade recently, growing I just didn't up. Really and... Like it that much. Yeah. Did, uh, did, uh, so, so did, did any of you guys? I know Mugen Lord visited arcades growing up. Did any of the rest of you? No. A little bit. Not Lands Castle, bro. That was it. So, uh, well, I had family lived in Vegas, so every uh, every arcade and a lot of the casinos. But uh, the big one was uh, I had a stepdad that would take me to Santa Monica, the, the pier right there that you can mm -hmm. go to in the Grand Theft Auto games and sort of go to where the arcade <laughs> was. But yeah, yeah. 
so much money and yeah the only time i've beat an arcade game is dropping like a roll of 20 bucks to do time, <laughs> cri time crisis 2 and then like house of the dead i think the first one or like the only times i've ever actually beaten oh, an arcade. The, and then yeah, you know remember that terminator the, the best one is the old school terminator one i, I love that old Terminator yeah, one. Yeah. And then, um, so my, my first and it might be only arcade game i ever beat by dumping money into it was uh was the original soul caliber arcade machine beat oh. that bitch with mitsurugi I think I beat some of the uh, Time Crisis games. The one where you had the actual yeah. pistol and you could like move. Yeah, it Time yeah. Crisis one and two, and then the uh, second one had the machine gun with yeah, the yeah. vibrate. Oh, and I grabbed God, both of them and jump on both pedals and just, like jump between. It was awesome. Take all the quarters. No one needs laundry. Here, go. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, well, yeah. until they had the card, and then you could load on a card. Thankfully, that was yeah. yeah. Uh, back in the day, changer. quarters yeah. were like quarters were like gold for me. I mean, I, I, if I was yep. lucky, my parents would let me go there. Okay, they give me a buck, so I only had yeah. four, four, four tokens. For that token, that token grift. For, yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think one 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 summer we went on vacation. And every hotel I went to had the Simpsons, the Konami Simpsons arcade. Oh, great game! So oh, I used yeah. to play oh, the hell out of that, that one. Game. Fuck I, yeah. Like, yes. And so when it finally, it finally came out on console, it came out Xbox say, Live Arcade right in right 2011. Mugen? Or is it 2012? It was Isn't that around the game? That time. The, the Simpsons game behind uh, Mugen Lord? Oh, no. Uh, Marvel vs. Catcom 2. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm blind. I can't think. I said, it looked like Homer since I saw you. Oh, never mind. Shit. I was going to say, that yeah. would have been fictitious. Yeah, I'm no, so I fucking want jealous to get of that, that arcade cabinet, dude. Like, yeah, it oh. comes, yeah, it comes with Marvel vs. Catcom 2, X vs. Street Fighter, oh, Marvel vs. Yeah, Heroes. It comes with all the versus games in there. Yep. And it comes with that, back uh, in the day. It comes with the SNES game beat em up game um as well. Uh X-Men. It was called yeah, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. It came mm -hmm. I played that. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It comes with that on the machine. Yeah. But I remember the very my first, first uh, competitive tournament I ever went to was X-Men Children of Adam. And I, I oh, really? did pretty damn well with Iceman before I got stomped in the third round. <laughs> uh, Sega Genesis, the mutant, uh, not mutant, uh, Power Rangers. Like the first Power Rangers from the time of the movie, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, yep. yeah. Had, yep. Like, a Played movie that. Tie -in. Now yep. we're talking about uh -huh. movie Yeah, I remember it. Now they're all coming back. Dude, White, like you get to play as the White Ranger. I think yep. the yep. Ivan Ooze and the Putties and all that. Everybody loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games too. I oh know. yeah, yes. I, I played. I remember Turtles the. I had order. the. I, I had the arcade game on NES, but I nice. played the. I played the Konami one. I played the mm -hmm. arcade one too. The arcade one looks like a 16-bit era. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. To how it looked on the 8-bit. Dimsy is talking era. about Alien vs Predator arcade. I don't remember I that it. at all. Yeah, I never played it. Yeah, it was really okay. What is a shooter Alien vs Predator 2000? I played that. Well, I was gonna say there was, and this is I still think this would make the best movie, and this is always what I want from Aliens vs Predators. Alien vs Predator 2 by Sierra Games is still the best of any of those properties. It's mm -hmm. Waylon Yutani gets a predator, or rather, an alien egg. They start growing a queen, and they don't realize that the planet they're doing this on is used by the predator to hunt those oh, aliens cool. and then so the u.s marines the colonial marines come in to help Wayland yutani and it's a three-way fight between mm -hmm. the species and still that game holds up i cannot find it anywhere that would have well, been a great that, that, that sounds like it would have been game. a great alien three the, the, i just want we actually got there are actually some decent alien games but just not mm -hmm. as good as you'd hope in terms of yeah, yeah. Oh, alien, alien isolation, isolation i can't bro. play that that, that is a great game i did not expect you of all people to play alien isolation just because you'll play a lot of modern games so if you love it like you know it's because it's got 80s dude i'm a big i'm a big fan of the first two aliens and that yeah. that game lives up to the first two aliens i mean oh you're gonna love on it the then. i say one really cool tactics game that's out is alien Stark. i haven't picked it up yet but i do plan to yeah my little my brother has that game he even yeah. he haven't played it yet but yeah i, know I tried to play fire team but oof yeah, no. They came out with a Predator uh, Concrete Jungle game for the console. I was so excited and I bought it. And I returned Shut it up, the Deadpool same Leo. day. I returned it the same fucking day because it was <laughs> so bad. What the Colonial Marines game? No, it was like it was called Predator Concrete Jungle. It was like for I think oh, Xbox I playing that. or something. And yeah. I thought like it within an hour or two, I was like, this is horrible. Yeah, <laughs> I had like Aliens versus Predator on the Atari Jaguar. And you was able oh, to nice. pick, yeah, you was able to play. It's like Doom. It's like a first-person shooter. You was able to yeah. pick the aliens, the Marines, or the uh, Predator, and that was pretty good for what it was, especially on the Atari Jaguar because that console was ass. Yeah. Oh, multiplayer <laughs> for <Sierra> games <laughs> on PC as the alien running on mm -hmm. ceilings upside down, uh, dropping down on people, oh, yeah. <laughs> panic firing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was fun stuff. Well, or the Predator and all his gadgets. 
Anyone play this game? The, the thing on the... Oh, I had that on Xbox. I played on Xbox. Never beat it. I never beat it on the Xbox at all. I was oh, dude, I love this game. I don't <laughs> think I ever beat it either, actually. It was hard as shit. <laughs> the, the thing, is that related oh. to the movie, yeah, the like thing? The John yeah, the, the yeah, it's the same yeah. kind of video yeah. game on oh, Xbox yeah. in like 2006. It's and really it good. really good. Oh, Let's so we, we, know, we know what happens to what, uh, Kurt Russell after that? Yeah, you find dude. out all about that. Yeah, you find out all about that in the game. It's, you know, It's it, really hard. You know what's funny is a lot of games, especially in the mid two thousands, were like that. Like there was a Scarface game where yep. instead of Tony Montana dying yeah. like oh, he does yeah. at the yeah. end of the movie, spoiler yep. alert, mm-hmm. he lives and you kill the, the the assassin dude that shoots you in the back or shoots they him tr- in the back. They the tried to make oh, it like Grand Theft Auto. Well, honestly, it wasn't really that good, but it was a neat idea. Like the very first level, you just turn around and shoot that guy, walks behind him, and you just continue the story. Well, it, it was also trying to do the same thing as like Max Payne, like with that sort of yeah, dark, was. Yeah. sort of. I, I love mm-hmm. Max Payne, dude. I Love, well, yeah, I love and the Godfather love, yeah. game based on the movie, yeah. you would do oh, sort yeah. of missions where you would take that. over businesses and you do all the go through the story, and then that started the Mafia franchise that yep. has like mm. four games now. Wait, That's really? A Godfather game was started yep. the Mafia franchise? I mean, I did not yeah. I'm not saying it, like, it started it. it. Came out first, and then Mafia all of a sudden came out. That was like the exact same gameplay style that's then spawned. The, but yeah, that first Godfather game is great. They, th- they made a sequel that was all right. But not was it anything good. like GTA the Godfather game? A little bit. Sort of. But I think it was actually better than a GTA at the time. Like the mechanics of the, the mantling, you could grab someone to threaten them because you oh, yeah. you would want to beat them up to threaten them to get what you wanted, the money, but you wouldn't want to to unalive them. So it was like a whole gameplay mechanic of beating them up without going too far mm-hmm. into the red. And yeah. then your bosses would be mad at you. It was it was did they, good. Oh, did no, they the, get did they get any voices? Any any people from the yes. movies to come back? Who that was came the back? big thing is they got um uh, almost everyone that was alive at the time, including um no, they the didn't get out Pacino. They couldn't get out. I'm sure no, not Al Pacino. Pacino. It was the it was the first one. So it was uh, uh Khan and uh they, they had uh, archival footage of uh oh, yeah. Marlon Brando. Brando. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Really? So oh, they okay. did back for Yeah, it. I remember I, that. I forgot yeah. all about the other movie tie in. You ever played The Punisher? Dude, it was this one scene you had to go to one of the crime bosses funerals. You hit in the casket, and then when yeah. you open up the casket, you killed the entire family. Oh my gosh. This is wild. You would hold people into the shark tank yeah. and you had to drop them or not. You could like throw a glass into people. It yeah, was man. Awesome. It was awesome. Did you play oh, Sleeping Dogs? Which, uh, it's very similar to that. Yeah. Which, uh, which yeah. Punisher game? Yeah. Be, uh, hold like that Which Punisher yeah. game? What, what system? I want to play this now. Ex- I had it for the Xbox. And it was, yeah, a tie- Xbox. It was probably like a tie-in for the, the movies that came out with Thomas Jane. At the time. Oh, okay. And Thomas Jane oh, does the John voice. Travolta. Okay. Yeah, yeah, John. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's diff. It's different from the movies, but Thomas Jane does the voice of the Punisher. He does a real good job. Also, Iron Man makes a cameo in it, um, as well. But man, you was able to interrogate oh, people. You so could, you could take them, grab uh ladders, and and smack them up and hit them with it. You yep. do all kinds of stuff. It was environmental, really, really environmental yeah. stuff, which is yeah, why yeah. I mentioned Sleeping Dogs. Is that I, had I the environmental yeah, stuff? Jesse Sleeping. speaks so highly of it, but I never played it, so I'm oh, gotta dude, get you got it. Really, really good. So fucking good, yeah. I, I, I think uh, good, yeah. Rockstar. I think Rockstar should do a Punisher game. Uh, I think they would do a real good, go- real good job with that. Like Grand Theft Auto, but with Punisher, I think that'd be really good. Maybe they mm-hmm. at least would let's see what they do in that next yeah. GTA before yeah. we start giving them any work. I mean, <laughs> they, can't, they can't they can't fuck up the next GTA. It's fucking Miami. It, it's not that hard to fuck up Miami. Uh, it's already a if, if, if they need a Red Dead. We can recommend Coach if, if Rockstar is looking for a I, mean, I lived in Miami for three <laughs> yeah. years. I I live longer than Coach, so I could probably give more information. Oh man. Yeah, but you're not you're not in show business, but, Dragon Slayer. Um, Oh, oh, my bad. Oh, but, shit, I'm bad. I live there every single day of my life for three years. No, no, I don't count. <laughs> narrative there. You migrated there on a the door. Oh, <laughs> but Badger, I did play Sleeping Dogs. It was like Grand Theft Auto and like Kung Fu at the same time. It was mm. fucking Really awesome. good fighting system. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a he's a cop, an undercover cop. Yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah, that game was really good. Because you could like car. you could jet, you can play the uh, cars, you can shoot, do the shooting. But yeah, then it was jump. Into, like yeah, yeah. like mechanics of actual fighting. It, it had like awesome. Hong Kong, uh, Hollywood, yeah. Kung Fu. Yeah, was yeah. that, like, was that John published Wu. by Square Enix? I can't remember. Was that published by Square Enix? Uh, Sleeping, Sleeping Dogs? Dogs. I think back I in the day remember. they. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, Tom Wilkinson is a major character and like cinematics and yeah, it held up. I'm, lo- I'm looking it up right now because I, I can't remember. Where next? Maybe it is. Um, They've had definitive editions that have been like remastered and upscaled, so like you can get it in 
hey, pretty look, decent. I- I'll recommend you a series that is underrated. It started in Germany and nobody knew about it until THQ Nordic just revived it out of thin air. Uh, look up the Spellforce series on Steam. Mm-hmm. The first two games are are super cheap. And the third game, Spellforce 3, has like so many expansion packs. Isn't that a turn-based game? Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's actually... <laughs> no, see, I know you were going to go after me with that one. No, 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 not turn-based. <laughs> Fuck no. It's not my kryptonite. Hell no. no. Yeah, it was, uh, was my Square Enix. Holy shit. Yeah, I did not yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, it's like a hybrid of RTS and, and classic CRPGs. So imagine... Imagine like a mix of, I would say maybe not too much of Baldur's Gate, not the not like the boring parts of Baldur's Gate, but like the good parts of CRPGs combined with RTS mechanics. And you basically it's like a way better version of Warcraft 3 or the or the Warcraft 3 that people wanted reforged, but instead they got manure reforged. So yeah. I'm just saying it's very good. It's quite amazing. See, yeah. I love RTS games. I never played any of the original Warcrafts. Like, I know that's a crime, but man, I love Command it's and Conquer. Fine. Command and uh, Conquer was my I, favorite I, yeah. RTS. Yeah. See, I don't like RTS. Yeah. So I st- the only ones I played were the Halo Wars games for the story. I literally. love Halo Wars. That was a, that was a great <laughs> RTS. And uh, literally there was, played uh, for the story. RTS called. Uh, uh, I read the Wikipedia page for the story. I mean, yeah. no, I'm an asshole. I wanted to just go through it and see the cinematics <laughs> at the same time. And I know I could just yeah. use YouTube, but they were free. They were on Game Pass, uh-huh. so I said, yeah. it. Oh, okay. Dude, if, if anyone's a fan of Dune and likes RTS games, the new Dune RTS, Dune Spice Wars, is actually really good. Talk yeah. about an MMO coming out. Have you seen the yeah. footage of those? Oh, I, yeah, I think that's gonna be. We're awesome. gonna be a spice miner on. It's a survival game. Yeah, looks looks interesting. Awesome. Command and like Conquer. Gonna be I never played Command and Conquer. Right? Command and Conquer. Yeah, really yeah it does look really like really it's gonna be grindy good. at first. Yeah, Age of Empires I Two was the, the shit. game. I don't assume the grind will ever stop. No, no, but it looks like one of those things that once you get your shit set up and you know your farms and all that, that it won't be as bad. But it looks like the startup on that game will take some time yeah. for just, sure. Just turn on, just turn on your neck beard mode yeah. for like you know <laughs> yeah. a, a couple of hours, and and then and then turn it go off ham and you're good for a while. I, I, I play I play JRPGs. I'm used to games not getting good until you're at the ten hour mark. So yeah. like, <laughs> ten hour mark. I'm thinking more yeah. like yeah, play it for a month or two, and then it'll seconds. start getting easy. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean you have to play for a month? Bro, I'm telling you, it gets real good. Okay, You just, have to go to max level, level and then the game can begin. Like, I know it's a thousand episodes, but if you get past those first 56 episodes, you're going to yeah. love it. Like No, Atreus with like the latest Final Fantasy, all he was complaining about is, God damn, bro, all I get is cutscenes. Where's the fucking gameplay? Oh, see, I like the cutscenes. <laughs> no, yeah, but like he was complaining. Those yeah, I know. I'm just saying gameplay. it shows you the two different type of player. Those yeah. are like See, the cutscenes. Melanie the Max said something I thought was brilliant, and it didn't have to do with saying the word faggot. She said that uh, that <laughs> oh, cutscenes that cutscenes should be treated like rewards, and I was like, "Damn, that's actually a really good way true. to put that," because that's how it was mm-hmm. back in like yeah, the, the mid two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got really excited, especially mm-hmm. with Final Fantasy VII when you saw a CG mm-hmm. cutscene. You just you jumped out of your seat because yeah. you didn't expect mm-hmm. it to happen. Yeah, it did feel like a reward, but now it's just because yeah, human never everywhere. got that memo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Metal Gear Solid Four is like a what a ten like a ten hour movie or something. I can't. Yeah, Kojima started going overboard. His stuff started becoming every like everyone at past Snake Eater. Every now, Kojima has Eater. always gone overboard, and people are just now realizing it. That dude is he. The homie <laughs> thinks he's the Quentin Tarantino of video games when he's the fucking I, I don't know who's an awful. Like he always director. loved. He <laughs> thinks he's he thinks he's I the Stanley he Kubrick of video him. games, Leon. Not not Tarantino. He thinks that, he's Stanley I, yeah, Kubrick. that works just as well. I can't fucking stand Kojima, dude. I think he is such mm-hmm. a bitchy little prima donna of the game industry. God, I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> well, and I'm <laughs> always, I'm always quick. a huge clothing Great whore in any game. So two different two dollar ones. So we want to say I'm the masochist that you game with Badger, and then he says Command and Conquer Generals and Zero Hours on Steam for the cheap. Bro, oh, thank oh, you. Oh yeah. So much. It means the world to me. I genuinely appreciate it. We're gonna give you the Zelda chime. Oh uh, yeah, when EA put all the command old Command Conquer games on Steam, they sold them for like what ten bucks or something. I don't, I don't even remember what it was. Boom! Random person in here. Kojima is incredibly overrated. I know he it. is. He is. 100% <laughs> he up his is. own ass at this point. Not at this point. Always, always has been. People just loved Metal Gear Solid so much they didn't realize it. Dude, when I first saw the first Death Stranding, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" It's like, a delivery. It's a delivery game. <laughs> when you let him off the chain, he goes crazy. When I'm seeing this, I'm like, "I'm not playing this." And everybody was worshiping <laughs> before even the game came out. 
And I remember read Young the Year. Book. Young Year was praising it. I was like, dude, the game. I've watched you videos. You know what this game's about. Like, yeah. I still Young don't Young understand Year. it. Why would you trust yeah. him? Man. I don't understand what that fucking game yeah. is about. I've had it explained <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't is. get it. Look, I remember them hyping seeing... that up a lot too. There's a they, lot they of hype his name I on it. at first because, yeah. like, like it, I'm a massive Silent Hill fan, and when, when Silent Hills because was no longer a thing, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. but they're, they're, this is going to be like their answer to it. They want to keep going, so I thought it was going to be a horror game, and it's not a fucking horror game. It's UPS in space, starring the guy from Walking <laughs> Dead. Like, oh, yeah, God. pretty much. I was going to say a FedEx yeah, training a video yeah. in video game form, but I guess yeah, you beat it on that UPS shit. Do right, they teach you how to throw packages over someone's home? <laughs> All right, let the man make a movie. Just let him make a movie. At yeah, this for point. real. Please, just, just let him. Wow, well, Leon, I didn't know you. Were Come on, Leon. Yesterday. You gotta make sure. Yeah. You gotta make sure you you, you say that you're eighteen. Yeah, basically, uh, EA put <laughs> all of the old Command Conquer games in a little bundle together for twenty bucks. Yeah, twenty oh, bucks for seventeen wow. games. That's actually fucking yeah. legit. You know, you can go to Instant Gaming and probably get this bundle even cheaper. <laughs> They sell a lot of these bundles as well. This is why I like, like yeah. being yeah. an up to date gamer. Well, because... instant gaming takes uh, keys from cheaper regions and resellers. Yeah, it's too. true. I know, mm -hmm. but if you, you know want, what? If you official resellers, you can use Fanatical or Humble Bundle. Yeah, true. I mean, I yeah. use them too. But yeah, I'll, I'll I like Fanatical a lot. Fanatical has a lot of good deals. Uh, usually, what Fanatical does, they have build your own bundles. They'll take a lot of keys they got, like extras out of it that they then sell, and they put them in bundles for cheaper and cheaper until they sell out. Hmm. Kojima can't make a movie because he can't write to save his life. I'd watch a Kojima <laughs> movie, but I'd need some vitamins. I'm, li I'm loving don't... all the Kojima slander going on. This is this is how I know y'all are good chat. You have an echo chamber, Leon. Uh, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> if there's any echo chamber I'd be okay with, it's an anti-Kojima echo chamber. I'm if if Kojima me. made a movie, he would pay, basically break the fourth wall like every 20 minutes. He, he'd be talking to the <laughs> he audience. You, you, you like this and you like that and all that. So. Yeah, like I would watch Dev Stranding as a movie. That it looks like he's trying to make that a movie. So I would watch that as a movie, then actually try to play it as a game. But let that man make a movie. That's because it's clearly that's what he wanted to do. That's clearly what he want, want to do. So. Oh, there was uh, there was one yes. point. There was one point I wanted to make about cutscenes being a reward. Uh, I think the first game I ever played that had a cutscene because I didn't play PC. I played console. Was uh, Zelda: Ocarina of Time. And every time you you got past mm -hmm. a certain point, you got yeah. a cutscene. Mm -hmm. And yeah. To that, to this day, I think Ocarina might be my favorite video game of all time. Yeah, it's that, probably that the most. It's probably the most. I think out of all the videos I made, that I, I think I spent the most time working on that one. It was a five hour yeah, that's, video. So. That's why I love this so much because one, the the previous the Legend of Zelda games that was on the NES and the SNES didn't really have story like that. So when Ocarina of Time came in, you got your little cutscenes with the story. I'm like, man, this is interesting. But you have to wait to after you defeat each temple. You have to wait for the next segment. So you got so so excited about it. So yeah, that was another link, thing that really. A link to the past in. really started that whole thing, especially with the. Mm -hmm. If you remember the prologue, the prologue mm -hmm. was basically mm -hmm. a, a wizard comes into the kingdom, yeah. kill, assassinates the king, takes over the castle, and starts mm -hmm. and starts offing these these maidens, and the, and then yeah. he, and at the very end, it's like Princess Zelda's time is drawing near, and you're like, whoa, 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 what the heck? whoa, dude, we got <laughs> we got we got to start playing this game, we got to save yeah. it. And all that. Uh, does he it got, you get, it gets you as well, or is he just does he just does he just injure him? I don't remember if Link's uncle dies or not, but it just gets injured. By the way, like it's it starts he, off gruesome, like it is dark. Yeah, the end of the game says your yeah. your uncle recovers. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, but then you had the Triforce. You you, you wished everyone probably everyone back. Yeah, you, you use the Dragon Ball logic as well. That's, that's yeah. basically what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. yeah Daxnar says no. His uncle dies. Like that's what I thought. I remember his uncle dying. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah. yeah. Pyramid Head was very well done in the uh, the first Silent. I, I love the first Silent Hill movie. I actually I really like the second one as well. Not even oh, the first one was fucking I, awesome. Of all movies for Sean Bean not to die in the Silent Hill <laughs> ones are the ones they go. That is so wild. <laughs> wait, he didn't die. Wait, record. Bro, yeah, Sean yeah, Bean does not was, die in Silent yeah. Hill one and two. No way. No way. There was a long time, bro. This where Sean Bean would like just have characters that would die at the end or near the middle. Long time since <laughs> his entire fucking career. Yeah, yeah I literally. It's true. I, 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 don't know, yeah. I, I don't know if it's true, but I heard he now has it in his contract that he's going to be in a movie. His character can't die. I I, I, I believe. <laughs> was, bro, good I'm God, bad. they were killing. He's just going to go off the farm like, somewhere. He'll be a good. He'll be hey, a there's be black hey, there's, death when he's pulled apart hey. by horses. He's like drawn in court. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's this, this new show that came out. Uh, spine? Would he be dead? 
Yeah, no, he's still alive. Wait, it's, wait, it's in his contract. Hey guys, hey guys, there's this new show that came out. It's called Game of Thrones and stars Sean Bean. Yeah. So yeah, uh, he, and he's a star, honest. so we can't die, right? No, no, yeah. no. no I was about Guy's to say that. Nine. He's the main character. Yep. You took the you took the words out of my yep. mouth. I was about yep. to say that because I never watched Game of Thrones, but he was always advertised. And then one day my brother said, Yeah, he died. I'm like, I, what? <laughs> he's the main character, like, he dies. <laughs> like, hey, what? what's wrong with this? <laughs> what you mean? All the, the way most back advertised to Golden Eye. <laughs> dying in James Bond is yep. dying in James Bond. <laughs> Drop them all the way down to the end of that thing. Yeah. I, I only ever watched the first episode of Game of Thrones, and so I never... Dude, killed, like, I've tried multiple times to binge watch Game of Thrones and get into it. I'm like, all right, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to do this. And I get up to like the third episode. I'm like... I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yes, <laughs> you, you're not, a lot that's of people. Dude, a, a, a puppy gets show. killed. Yeah. A puppy gets killed yeah, by an my, evil my queen and her evil Yeah, son. I watched JoJo's I mean, Bizarre Adventure. Puppies die in like every single arc of JoJo. It's so. like, like the first, the first Game of Thrones season is literally a lot of, a lot of random character killings, and a lot of fucking. And I yeah, mean, it gets like, easier yeah. as they die off. With, like I thought Spartacus yeah, yeah, I was, was I wild, but apparently this like, was like, oh, this dude there. is banging his sister and then pushes yeah. a fucking ten year old out the window. I'm like, what the That's fuck? That's the end of fucking? episode one. It's a plot point. Yeah. It's, yep. a plot point. <laughs> it's a plot point. <laughs> it's a plot point. <laughs> it sort of starts something. <laughs> I did like yeah. House of the Dragon though. I got into that one. Yeah. I was really no, that one, that I, I love House of the Dragon. Yeah. And I don't know mm. dick about the lore. Like I'm gonna be real. I've never read the books or anything, but I really like dark. That 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 Dance of the Dragons is dark shit. I mean, but then again, they they aged up the characters because in in the original source material. Material, they're kids, kids fighting other their yeah. cousins, basically. That sounds about right. Yeah, See, but I feel like that's what we're gonna have know? to do if they continue with the Dune books, like making them into movies. Like the third book. Oh, they confirmed it. They're making uh, Dune Messiah. One more movie. Yeah, yeah one more movie Messiah's, covering it. And then I, I, I imagine Hollywood has to stop there because of what happens in uh, um, oh, all that bad shit, onward. Children of Dune stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's called it's called sex position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's pretty good, Jim Harris. I like oh, that one. Oh man, that's yeah, that's just good. Oh, uh, but, but back back to games because I, I didn't even get out. I wanted to uh, reference Ocarina of Time because I was having this, this argument. I think it was over on Blaine's channel, and Serrano's may have been on the opposite end of it. Actually, I truly believe that to this day, it is the greatest video game ever made. Like oh, Ocarina sorry, of Time, I don't think like, there's games that might play better, look better, but in terms of a legacy, a, a video game having a legacy, I think mm -hmm. nothing. I I never a... I, after every Zelda after that, I never had an equivalent experience. Now I think maybe oh. it's because I was 14 and mm -hmm. that was it was the perfect age for me to get to play that type of game, and the mm -hmm. the, the experiences I had, you know, you know, losing friends and all that, and you know, Link having friends. Of you know different you know races and the whole you idea of just having you live in Chicago we know what that means like <laughs> exactly exactly so <laughs> but it was just it, it it was such a meaningful game like like w w the, when you get to the second half you're just like whoa dude what that it's like it was like the it was like this uh, middle of the when I played Final Fantasy VI for the first time years after playing mm -hmm. this I'm like dude this is the, almost the same exact type of thing where the entire world gets effed up the entire mm -hmm. world gets effed up and you wanna and it's because of your actions. And the first mm. thing you want to do is you want to find your friends. Where are they in all this hell? It, it, it was it was insane. There was so much to be invested in. Yeah, and um, Wind Waker did the same thing for me. I love I oh, yeah. Tom and Wind Waker. And and when I, once I seen the the epilogue, the, the prologue when Wind Waker open opens up, it, it started like saying like, "Yo, this is connected to Ocarina Tom." After yep. the hero Tom disappears, you know, Hyrule just went the, went this shit. And everything, and I was like, "Wait a minute, this is connected to Ocarina of Time in some way." And then you just go on this excellent journey. You this young boy, and then, you know it's his birthday, and then they give him the hero tonic, you know, tonic as a as a uh, tradition. And then your sister gets kidnapped, and then you find out yep. that Gan is alive. Then you meet this pirate girl. Then the pirate you find out the pirate girl is actually Zelda. Yeah, I'm like, oh, and you find that uh, the hero is actually underwater. Oh yep. man! It, oh, dude, man. What, what, what did you think of uh, Ganon's character? Like he was not—he was—he was such a great. Lord, how can you, you do that? He <laughs> was such a great—he was such an interesting. Like he wasn't just your evil bad guy. Like yeah. he had his own wants and desires, and you felt—you actually felt well, for him. I thought it was great. From Ocarina, like like he's like yeah. in, in the time I used to just be a bloodthirsty conqueror, but in these hundred years that I've been alive, I've learned patience, and like he goes through this. A Shakespearean yes. arc, like yes. I love Ganondorf in yes. um, Twi and, uh, not Twilight, uh, Wind Waker. Yes, oh, <laughs> yeah, Twilight was sparkle, bad guy. 
Yeah, man. It's just Other I, I love the Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time. Still my all time <laughs> favorite. I can't get into Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. It's just something no, I'm about trying. I played Breath of the Wild. It was, I mean, to me, it was really? mid. But, I mean, yeah, yeah, to me, it was mid. I didn't like the, the all the stuff that I like in a Zelda game was yeah. removed for the sake yeah. of it being an open world game. I'm not saying the open world aspect's bad, but it's just, it's not my thing. It's not something that I like. I've never, I've only open type open world games I like. Like my mm -hmm. favorite open world game of all time, and I haven't played Red Dead 2, so that might be mm -hmm. up there if I beat it. But currently, oh, it's uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Mm. Ghost of Tsushima is my favorite. Open Ooh, world game. The that open world I'm, game. I'm just playing it for the first time. Play it. mm. It's going to come out director's cut, and you'll get to play it. Plays. It is great. It is a truly great game. I, it's my something friend, to brag about. Yes. My friend bought it for me to play, and I'm just got obsessed with Shogun. So I'm like, this sounds like a good time to go back and play. <laughs> Shogun's great, dude. Shogun's yeah, great. when it comes out on the director's I, cut, I need to get Steam, back to watching Shogun. I was it. really loving it, but I had to stop because I got busy. So I, I need to catch up on Shogun. It's so good. The finale is like either today or tomorrow. Oh yeah, so no, they got there's three more episodes. So we got three more weeks. Which really? three is definitely was, one of the best open world. Oh, yeah, everyone, hundred percent. Okay, I got. I I've got a massive issue with The Witcher Three because I love the world, I love the characters, I love everything about the game except for how it fucking plays. And I could be wrong, but it feels like when I played it on PS4 that this game was clearly made for a PC, and then they had to jam like a hundred different buttons onto a fucking PlayStation controller. There's and there's newer so patches. Much Huh? They changed it. They changed it recently. There's newer patches that make it way easier to cast signs uh, if you're, oh, you're playing. You, with, I yeah, could yeah. not finish it. It, just, it was. Wait, so what do you mean? Lovely. They made it. games on consoles getting wrecked again. They made oh, really? it just even easier to switch. <laughs> okay, because like I played, I played Witcher three on console, man, and I was me too. I was having easy time like doing signs and shit. Yeah, no, no it's even easier, and you can change between the two, so you oh, can really? be an OG masochist, or you could just yeah. have the slightly easier oh, one. Geez. It just yeah. takes away one less step. You just hit nah, right trigger bro, and the face uh, buttons school, instead of school of the you know. cat, school of the cat armor, like top tier, and just school of the, the wolf, shit. bruh. Eh, mm -hmm. fuck you. I can kill shit faster with a cat. Sure <laughs> you can. What's not about speed? Is that all you do fast? Dragon Slayer? Oh, for fu oh, fuck Slayer. you, you boomer. <laughs> he refuses to touch your It's game. a good <laughs> open world game, slow. He does need I've, to talk dopamine. <laughs> I've never played more than 30 minutes of, um, of uh, what's that famous Elder Scrolls game that everyone fucking loves? Um, so Skyrim and Skyrim. Morrowind. Oh, I, I can't do Skyrim. Skyrim. Morrowind, yeah, I played I've, Morrowind. Too. I've this never played Morrowind. Oh, Morrowind. Skyrim is one of the few that I've played like a lot. Yeah. I never got into really open world and RPG mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but Skyrim I got really into. And I got to like the very the last, was ass, last boss the and yo, just didn't. Finish. Mods Whoa. make the combat better that add more cinematic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember yeah. yeah. like, I want the game to be good for like on its own first. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's great if you fix mods, it yourself, just so you can swing a sword like <laughs> a cool bro. Yeah, I remember <laughs> back back then, like Game Informer was bragging about that Microsoft was going to have mm -hmm. a game called Morrowind that is going to be this epic yeah. RPG that's you could be able to play for like, nine hundred hours and everything. And I love RPGs. It's like, yo, I, yo, I got to get this Morrowind game when it comes out. So I forgot all about it. So one day I went over to my cousin's house, and he was playing Morrowind because the game finally came out. I forgot all about it. And when I see the graphics and how stiff and how horrible the game looks, I said, what is this shit? It's just like, Adam's. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you playing? He said, Morrowind. Came. I said, this is the game? I, I, it just turned me off. The gameplay, it just looked ass. I yeah. like, that's why I never got <laughs> into it like in Skyrim. <laughs> I, never, I didn't care about Skyrim either. Like it's just I don't know, man. I just can't like, get into Morrowind was Morrowind was wild because you can murder anything. You can kill. <laughs> yeah. you can, like my my so, friend yeah. came up. You can craft your own spells. Yeah, my friend came out with a way to nuke a town. And kill uh, oh wow! <laughs> yeah. So he he, he, he told me he went on a genocide spree. The kids uh, is what people told me. You can't kill the kids, but there's mods to allow. There's a mod. Like, there's yeah. That's the one mod Alan saw. Any mod allows yeah, you to murder the children. Yeah, there's a mod. Okay, for that. seriously though, the reason I did install that mod originally is because you know how uh, immersion funny. breaking it is for a dragon to attack a town and the kids running around immortal on fire. Yeah. Like this is yeah. fine. <laughs> I remember in Skyrim, I turn into a werewolf and I'm just slaughtering everybody. But there's little kids yeah. standing there. Yeah, no mods make that immersion breaking yeah when, yeah, when yeah. video games don't let That's kids die that, it though. annoys the piss out of me it's not like i'm over here like oh leon wants to murder kids like i do but that's not what i'm talking about <laughs> I want to but, see. aside from that <laughs> <laughs> Correct. It's like you've seen but that also, meme where it says like, uh, what is it? The pro sure version will let people experience yeah. their favorite games, and it shows uh, Anakin with the lightsabers. Yeah, from the <laughs> yeah it's literally that, <laughs> <bad>, bro. 
Uh, Dude, Jim Harrison's asking who's getting Stellar Yams. I'm buying it for Atreus Stellar as yams. a gift. I have a PS5. <laughs> no, it ever comes yeah, out on no, PC, who? I will. Yeah, I'm exactly. When it. it comes out on PC, I'll get it for myself. But since Atreus yeah. is uh, is black and broke, um, I'll get, I'll get it for him. <laughs> I don't care <laughs> enough to play it. Not for like hey. good or bad. Just as I said, I'm the least gamer here. I was gonna say, so ending of the third one aside, any love for the Mass Effect series because that was super important to me over the years. Yes. Until of course they fucked me over for the ending, but and we got yeah. what we got. We all have to accept it. But yeah, those at least three it wasn't games, Andromeda, okay? Yeah, right. So I don't even. I'm not even gonna count <laughs> Andromeda. I just meant like the first it three on their exist, own. Yeah. Just yeah. like the sequel trilogy. It's just Star not Wars. relevant to any <laughs> basic conversation if we're talking about good gaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I, I love the first Mass Effect. That's just the only one I played, so I need to, oh, I need to go in and that play. That second like, game is still probably my favorite one, even though the it's the best one. It's, it's the best I, writing in video games. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't have an Xbox 360 growing up, and like so, my my grandma had the first one. I played it at her place, and. uh I Leon, I'm going to super it. chat you, and I want you to spend that money on getting the goddamn Mass <laughs> I, Effect collection. I, I would do it. I absolutely would. Just, she never got the second and third game, so they I never played. So it. worth the playthrough. Did she have well. it? Did she played it herself? Was like, was she? Into yeah. It? Oh, dude, my my granny was a. That's she's the whole reason I'm a gamer. Is my oh, granny? Cool. She, she got yeah. diagnosed with cancer when I was like four yeah. years old or something. And she couldn't really like get out and do anything, so she just decided to become a gamer. That and, is uh, awesome. Like yeah. not the, you know the obviously not the cancer part, <laughs> yeah, but I've always thought like I've always thought video games would be great for older people and people who end up in that type of situation like there's yeah. i don't know her name but there's this older woman on youtube who just the skyrim like, loves, i don't know if it's skyrim but she plays like a bunch of old uh, uh there, there's an old woman i follow on youtube called like brita food for dogs i, and it's she does, I think it's yeah. her i think it's her yeah it's i saw it, her and i was i just got the most long, heartwarming like, feeling watching videos it. of like of special edition games yeah. and whatnot like yeah, it's, it's so it's wholesome. amazing yeah i love it Leon, you're getting yelled at and yeah, correctly I so. I want to Leon so bad. I, I will play it. I will absolutely Good. play it. I just, I, it's I, just I'm so jealous. Three yeah, games. Give away and the you, legendary edition. It's on. It's been on sale for like six bucks, eight bucks yeah. recently. Come That's on. Goes Come through. on, Leon. Come on. I'm jealous yeah, that I'll, you get to experience right the now. second game and then at least 98% of the third one. <laughs> you have to tell him that which point to turn it off. I'll do it. I'll do it. I will buy dirty, it. Dirty, I just moist. told you how much it costs. It doesn't cost that much. Yeah, buy you just right. give him like eight dollars. Don't, don't fuck up the grip. You, uh, you're, 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 you're gonna get some roundabout, buddy. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you, Great Deadpoolio. I will absolutely go all in on Mass oh, yeah. Effect. I will, I will download it tonight. Thank you so there much. You, you did not need to do that. Out. I truly appreciate it. Oh, See, man. We're, we're, we're to find the timeline right there. Now you get to finish it. Yeah, finish I, will, that fight. I, I, will, I will give I will give Badger updates along the way. I, I haven't played the first one since it came out, so I'm going to start with play that. the first one again. You're going to keep your character and play Look, all the, the legendary way edition makes play it all easier. Three hundred hours of Mass Effect, or you yes. can't say you actually beat it. All the DLCs, everything. You got to do all yep. the stuff. Yep. I will, I will absolutely well see and that's the thing that that's kind of an issue i have with gaming is that i'm a hundred percent a completionist so when i play yeah. a game i usually don't pick up another until i've you know it, I try to get all the trophies all the side quests like i will be stuck on a every I've, I've done four different playthroughs at this point three or four playthroughs of fallout 4 just so i could get all the different you know choose the different paths and yep. stuff because i'm a I love doing that sort of shit so that's since I've been good is usually the worst play to play way to play yep. games <laughs> If you don't have the stones for it, but if you can, hell yeah, it's the only I way to it, fly. I think it's far better, easier time to just experience new games and try to find new things. No, I'd rather like play Hogwarts Legacy better. four times through oh, so I can play yeah. as every house. Yeah. Hey guys, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bounce. All right, well, All right, here, let, me thanks, man. let me drop your information in the uh, in the chat, and you give everyone an outro. Nerd Poryo, tell the people who you are, where they can find you, and what you do one more time. Sure. Uh, uh, my channel's Nerd Poryo Lifeform. Check me out. I do chill Poryos each week. They're just basically chill streams with people, just talking nerd shit. Um, video retrospectives, I did a whole bunch of them. Check them out. Movies, video games. You might see something you like. You might not. But, hey, I uh, try to be as cool as I can. So, But, yeah, guys, thanks for having me. Leon, you're it awesome. Was awesome. Loved, loved, I love doing, love having our me and me and Leon's uh, chill stream. Longest out of all of them, over five hours was, talking like games and hours. all of, all the stuff we like. Lots of and then, lots and then of you shit. Popped in on my uh, so surprise pop in on my Akira Toriyama remembrance stream. We had hours talking about that. It was oh, 
such a good time. Dude, we can have just a stream talking about night. Dragon Ball. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> dude, thank yeah, you man. very much. You have a good rest of your night, Ryan. Thank you so thank much you for the invite. Man. Take care. Nice yeah. meeting you all. I definitely want to talk mm-hmm. to you guys. Uh, yeah, that's my nice big trip you, for you guys. Hey, nice meeting you, man. Mm-hmm. Take care. Uh, By the way, did you guys know Sky Oblivion is coming out next year? Like no, it's but Oblivion, down. that that yeah. mod that people have been working yep. on for years that completely yeah. overhauls Oblivion. Okay, yeah, yeah. and then and then right after that they're gonna get to work on uh, on I think it's called Skywind, which is basically like a HD uh, Skyrim mod version of Morrowind. And yeah, that's a lot of right. people just yeah. gonna take another six years to make. <laughs> I know, I know, but look, yeah. at least you can enjoy Sky Oblivion, okay? Like next year, it's better than waiting for Elder Scrolls Six. Look, it's been waiting for Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah, both of those will probably be out before Elder Scrolls Six. Holy fuck! You're right. Didn't that get announced? Like officially announced in like 2018? It's been like six years. Four years ago. Yes. Oh, okay. Four years. Sorry. What the fucking do? Like. Oh, the last game released in uh, 2011. (laughs) Oh God, dude! I remember I was like in middle school when Skyrim came out, and, and still the goddamn game has not come out. Like. Elder Scrolls 6 has still not come out. I, I am shocked that at this point, a lot of people can literally go like, oh man, I remember when like I didn't have kids or a wife or anything. And I would yep. play Skyrim for like 500 plus hours. And then they're like, and now I got like five kids. My mortgage is shit. And still they <laughs> haven't released the game. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, by the time GTA 6 comes <laughs> out or yeah, that next Fallout yeah. or oh, Skyrim, it's over. Yeah. Uh, so Sonic Boom is asking our opinions on Mutant Mayhem. Uh, if you're talking about the new movie, I, I, I don't give a shit. It's Seth Rogen. I, it's it's about. Yeah, no, I don't give a shit about it. I've never it's, heard it's about. It doesn't yep, exist. I, yep. Next. I don't, April. I don't watch anything he worked on. <laughs> nope. Uh, what, er- uh, what area do y'all think Elder Scrolls 6 will take place in? Uh, I'm going to let you Elder Scrolls fans talk about this because I don't know dick about Elder Scrolls. I think they said uh, Red Guard. Yeah, I would say it's yeah. either gonna be High Rock or it's gonna be uh, some something with the Red Guards because they only yeah, don't have any choices the left. Red Guards. Yeah, yeah. It, it, so it's gonna be either it's gonna be look it'll be crazy if instead of being one or the other they just get all ambitious and say oh no we're gonna do both. That'd be interesting. All but... black people. <laughs> I still weird. play Elder Scrolls online. <laughs> Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls is Wakanda, basically. <laughs> We're gonna be hearing jokes about curved swords all day long in the game. <laughs> Did you see those wa- those warriors in from the east? They have curved swords. Curved swords. <laughs> The only thing oh. I know about Elder Scrolls is people send me these videos to react to that are uh, D- Dagoth. Is that his name? Dagoth. A couple of them. Dagon Gareth, which which one? It, it's so it's, it's basically some Maroon's, <clears throat> Maroon's Dagon. Oh uh, yeah, Maroon's Dagon. I don't know. Oh, they, no, they, they've been uh, absolutely hilarious. It's big but... bad from Morrowind. Dagon. Yeah, yeah, they're right. They're uh, right. Oh man. Yeah, those, those videos have been fucking hilarious. But that's the extent of what I know about they anything related to Elder Scrolls. So uh, either way, they're they they're still good. Yeah, they're still good. But... Man. I'm I'm much more of a Fallout fan. Just like, cause I, I don't know what I prefer sci-fi over fantasy. Like I like both, but if mm-hmm. I'm gonna choose between the two, I go sci-fi. And so I'm a I love yeah. Fallout series. I like the Fallout games. I like the mm-hmm. Fallout. I even played the original ones on isometric top down, the first mm-hmm. two on PC. But I played yeah. them, but I was awful at them. I did not no, understand. I don't mind the transfer. Or... Like that's a there's a big OG Fallout fans will shit on Bethesda, mm-hmm. but like I don't mind the Bethesda Fallout games, even if I think mm-hmm. Obsidian New Vegas is like the best Fallout game we've gotten. See, I, uh, I I love people. Everyone has that opinion. It's, it's fair. I totally understand why. But there's because it's a revenge story as opposed to like uh, the you know three and four have this like that family sort of connection between you know father and son. And, and I don't know that just hits me harder. So I know that I know that New Vegas is a better game, but I I much prefer replaying three and four. I understand. Mm-hmm. I think they just mean in totalitarian like when to- like in total when you look at all the DLC, it's like the best, most quality of all the writings mm-hmm. and shit. But yeah, I like uh, I like Great four comment from Mrs. Sparkles. Hmm? Dude, my son just came from school and school. saw the thumbnail. Yeah, I don't have the problem with it. They, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to get oh, the you costume. Jesus and you <laughs> I told you to get the costume, <laughs> Leon. He, he needs uh, to get a crown of thorns just to yes, complete, complete with the crown. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to do that one of these years. I need to find a reason to do it. But yeah, one of these days I'll do a oh, Jesus. God, stream no, and, uh, you're gonna invite Bell back on. Uh, Jim Harris, you come over to the Badger Legion. We'll take care of you. 
Oh yeah, yeah, dude, yeah subscribe. Yeah. We'll, we'll take care of you over here. Everyone's <laughs> info is in the uh, is in the description, and, and when we uh, sign mm-hmm. off for the night, I always put it in the chat. So yeah, if Jim, if you haven't watched Badger's channel, like legit awesome channel, Ch- check his. Leon out. knows games. He knows Leon stuff. Leon Nazareth. <laughs> he knows stuff. I know things. Leon Nazareth. Come on. Q made you cry. Was that supposed to be Persona Five, not Q? Or no, no, One because One is near. The keyboard what is persona q or is that a typo i need i need more info you can sorry, leon. Leon. We'll That's an achievement. leon is it true you once slapped a blind man in cincinnati and he was able to see after you slapped him <laughs> it's 100 percent true yeah i uh they, they 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 arrested me for assaulting the guy and he's like no no <laughs> bullshit look, like, hey. look he was blind now he can see i just had to slap him Ooh, vex electronica i think you should, my vote is you just start with fallout 3 I would yeah. remastered Fallout. I mean, you know, it plays at 4K right now. Yeah. Don't play it as if it's a shooter, though. The gun yeah. mechanics in that game are ass. Do a melee build. <laughs> hey, yeah. Like so every be... Bethesda game. Yeah, exactly. Usually That's why the you combat play mechanics. Games, so the you thing you're searching for in Fallout 3, yeah. like the main quest of the thing you're searching for, I won't spoil it. I accidentally found it just randomly searching. And like an hour <laughs> into the game, I was like, uh, is I supposed to find this? <laughs> you're like... <laughs> All right. Oh, man. oh uh, Persona yeah. Q game, is a creepy style game. Okay, I've not, I've not played. I've only played the the main entry Personas. I never played any spinoffs or anything, which is ironic because Persona in and of itself mm-hmm. is a spinoff. Yeah. Man, Wait, did yeah. you really Bro, cry? I'm cried. not going to judge you. I, I've, I've cried during, during I cried during the end of the first one, and I cried like a motherfucker at the end of the second one for reasons. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't played it. But yeah, Red Dead 2 yeah. is such a god game, god tier game writing. Arthur Morgan. Leon, I showed you my vi- my brother your video where we collabed. He said, "What the fuck is this Zeus motherfucker talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Zeus not near built enough for Zeus. I, I look far yeah. more like Jesus starving. Don't myself disrespect Zeus kid. like that. <laughs> it worked out. I have not committed Zeus. near as many rapes as Zeus. Whoa! <laughs> oh, near. Oh, oh. Near. Not near. <laughs> I'm not near. Wait, like whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa! Rookie numbers. You got to get those numbers up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> How many Horrible. is not a, not near as much? Horrible. We got a threshold around here, son. <laughs> so you have a scale. <laughs> On a scale of Attila the Hun to uh, <laughs> or Genghis Khan. Diddy. <laughs> to maybe a Harvey Weinstein? Are we somewhere in the middle, no, maybe? No. On a scale Khan. of Diddy to Har- Weinstein. Yeah. Where are you the at? Diddler. Yeah. The Diddler. <laughs> I, I, I'd, I'd say it's somewhere in the levels of Epstein, but they were all of age. So, oh. you know, like, oh. okay. like that, doesn't that, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, Leon is happy and he does not want to unalive himself or anyone else. <laughs> oh, <the> Jesus. Case. <laughs> Yet, we'll see how that Zelda movie turns out. So. Yeah. yeah. Wait, they're making a movie about that? No. Gonna yeah, make a movie I'm, actually of Zelda. I'm actually stoked for it. I won't lie. Oh. Speak, uh, so, uh, John Winslow says, I feel like the Borderlands show movie will be shit. I'm yep. awful at the Borderlands games. Horrible. I love the art. I like people watch. I like watching people play them, but I fucking suck. Sorry, I feel like I said the Fallout when I was like, the clips we see in the Fallout, mm-hmm. yeah, it looks awful. Uh, Borderlands probably still going to be bad, uh, even though mm-hmm. I haven't really seen anything of it. Looks it's miscast. Just, Have you seen the trailer? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, it looks miscast. I didn't watch, it. I didn't watch the Borderlands like trailer. Mother- look, uh, you lucked out. I wish I hadn't. It does yeah, not look. Really Kate Blanchett, right. I love her. She's too old to be playing Lilith. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, late Jamie Lee Curtis. It's just like Even a great it, example of like they didn't give a fuck like, at Littles all. Littles was never that yeah. old. And Ken Kevin Hart games. shouldn't be Roland. Oh, is Isn't Kevin Hart character supposed <laughs> to be yes. like, like, like the game? Yeah. Kevin yeah. Hart is this? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, shit. It's the, this is the equivalent of casting Kevin Hart as Barrett in a Final Fantasy movie. Like, it yeah. just <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> fucking <laughs> Bro, they shouldn't just make him tall, like using CGI, <laughs> have him crack like the most generic black jokes ever, just yeah. to make sure the Japanese people think we're actually. That's, we why, think- that's why I don't like Ke- uh, uh, Kevin Hart's comedy. Is like to me, it's just yeah. like stereotypical he's black. Not comedy. Funny. He's not funny. Near as clever as people like Chris Rock or, or Dave Chappelle yeah. or anything. No, he's not funny. That's at true. All. Yeah, that's true. Oh, how man. can you stuck at Borderlands, Leon? The fuck kind of game are you? So I, I'm bad at FPS games in general. Like I won't oh, lie, FPS games are be, because yeah, I grew up like, playing like, survival FPS horror games. That's that's I, it, I have to rewire my play on consoles, Leon. That's the problem. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I like third yeah, person shooter yeah. or third person action open world. So like the Red Dead's, the Jedi Survivor, that type of thing, yeah. or a first person shooter, Cyberpunk. Love all that. The the recent updated. Yeah. yeah, Cyberpunk. Yeah, they're up two point six and onward. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the hell the patch was. Look, yeah, I'll, I'll admit, like, I, I know I say I don't like turn-based games, but like, I don't know if I consider Medieval Two or any of the Total War games like the kind of turn-based I don't like. Mine is, is it more pause like in between 
rounds. It, it's no, it's, yeah, yeah, it's more like it's more like your your the turn part is when you're strategizing, you know, your armies and your kingdoms, but the actual combat is literally RTS, like overhead uh, camera RTS combat. So I think that's why I like it because if it was fully turn based, I would fucking run away from it like the plague. I just want the option. Just let us choose. Yeah. You know. Uh, so, mm -hmm. but before I address this, because because I don't, what do you guys consider modern? Because to me, anything from like 2006 on is modern. I might be being too liberal with it. I think well, I would like agree with years. that, but yeah, that would actually mm -hmm. be correct. Yeah. Let's hmm. see. That's Probably stuff from like 2019. 20, are you talking like when the new yeah. console yeah. started popping out, like with the uh, you know nah, nah, high quality I'll, graphics? I mean, you know, probably be like modern like 20 yeah. i'd say if it but was see, on ps3 so, or xbox 360 that's retro now yeah yeah see, that's i refuse question, to fucking like, believe like, that xbox, xbox 360 has already hit retro. retro yeah that's a yeah 360 now. is considered retro because isn't yeah. like the wii itself almost like 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 the nes now as far as years it's, it's been yeah. away like you know like i don't know but I think wait wait are you saying wait. that the gap from now to the wii is the same as the nes to the wii like yeah, that oh, yeah something like that no yeah, fucking way yeah, it's that Whoa. old. The Wii is old. The Wii is considered old now. Look Damn. at the Wii, the 360, the PS3. Oh, man, that, that hurts We're my old. heart to think about because, like, yeah. as, as somebody whose favorite generation is, like, the, the Dreamcast N64 PS1 era, which I know a lot of people want Dreamcast in with PS2, and maybe mm -hmm. that's better. I don't know. I, I, I look at Dreamcast as the same generation. We came out 11 years after the NES was discontinued. Holy Damn. shit. Mm -hmm. Wow, uh, the, the NES was discontinued in '95, which is really late, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, because didn't it come out in '84? I mean, uh, yeah, 11 years for a run of a console that's insane. They don't do shit like that anymore. No, no, nah, bro, yeah, consoles are not even a set of boxes. Yeah, I remember the, the yeah. PS, the PS3, the 360, and the Wii ran for a long time. That was a long console generation. Yeah, because we had because we had the what the housing yeah, market been, was bad. It's the currently been was 18 bad. years since the Wii yeah. came out. Yeah, it was that long. That was a long console yeah. generation. Very yeah. long console mm -hmm. Wii is retro. Generation. Yeah, yeah. That very is, retro now. That's crazy. I remember that being brand new. <laughs> Same. Like, like, I mean, when, when, yeah, when I remember Wii growing up on the was, Wii when I was, was a little kid. System. Like, yeah, I, I love the PS3 and the 360, but the Wii was my my go to for just about every game that that generation. I got tired of the motion controls. I got tired of the motion I think it got over time. It, 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 they got on my nerves. But I did have like a lot of Wii games. But uh, my 360, man, that was my favorite console that generation, man. So you, you're talking about the motion controls. Might have been the greatest the generation. to play Resident Evil yeah. 4. Yeah. Resident Evil 4 with the motion controls is the best version of Resident Evil 4 ever made. Bro, like the... the the P My PS3 collected dust that generation. I didn't really fuck with the PS3 like that. I had one. And I didn't really buy many games for it. When I did buy them, a lot of them still in the plastic. Never opened them. I never really opened any of my PS3 games. My 360 was the console. All my friends is on Xbox Live. I said Gears yeah, of War because no one yep. mentioned it. Yeah. Gears of War, at least the first uh -huh. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, not, not at least. The fucking first three. I was three. trying to yeah. mention them. Excuse me. About this. Oh, oh well, forgive me. <laughs> trying to. No, I said it earlier. Another but yeah, an example Gears. of like just incredible storytelling like those those cutscenes again those cutscenes mm -hmm. felt like a real war like there was emotion yeah. there was intent like yeah it was like, that, those had stories i always felt really so much connection oh that yeah. second gears of war fucked oh yeah me up with it his, will yeah. him finding his yep. wife and mm -hmm. i won't root but just let's just say it's yeah, not all know, that great that gave a lot of men trauma <laughs> and then someone else and then, and then, then he find it. yeah 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 Carmine, there's a lot mine too yeah, John, John DiMaggio is one of the best modern yep. voice actors. Oh, yeah. He brought such mm -hmm. gravitas to that role. Like it was 100%. You, you, as someone who grew up watching fucking Futurama, Look, you're not hearing Bender at all. Like so Mr. Mm. Tech Rat in the chat right now, we played all those Gears of Wars together, and I would always play as uh, Dom. And when yep. I got to that scene, I just like the character wasn't really paying attention to what I should be seeing because I was so happy that mm -hmm. I found my objective. And I just like the character had the realization of like, oh shit, uh, trauma, and emotional damage. Yeah. Is still <laughs> still, with those me are the best moments though when it like cut, that darkness like seeps over yes. and you're just like, it oh, was so they got fuck, me so good. And, like, yeah. They got me so good, but it's still one of the greatest gaming mm -hmm. moments. And yeah, that 360 yep. was a glor glor uh, mm -hmm. glory generation of Halo oh, and yeah. Gears. Oh, was, yeah. do you remember Early in one when you had to like uh, yeah. do like the little corridor uh set like little corridor sequence where like you 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 had to use like the freaking uh what's it called like the 
satellite laser. God, what what do they call it? Yeah, the hammer. Oh down. yeah, the hammer. Yeah, yeah, the hammer is on, but you yeah. were stuck in a building and you couldn't yeah. beat yep. this monster. Yeah, you'd have to run out and chase. <laughs> yeah. I still that get you know when you're being chased then. by someone, you're like <gasps> that yeah. feeling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you still get it. The creepy music did not help. <laughs> No. I remember the way they advertised that game coming out. It was like, it's the shooter where if you stand out in the open, you will die. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't wrong. Yeah. 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 And yeah. the timed what mechanics for reloading. Of visceral real quick. Drop in five. Shout out. Is all of visceral. Thank you so much, homie. You did not need to, but you did. And for that, it is Sonic time. Ah, thank you so much, LaVistro, for all you guys that just became members. Pinned comment in the Discord, or in the, on my community tab, has the Discord link. Feel free to join, make yourself a home, and if the link doesn't work, I will update it after the stream. So just let me guys, let me know, but uh, yes, awesome. And then I-Man coming in with a twofer, I unplugged the new Xbox and plugged in the PS3. Oh, that probably hurts Badger's heart. Here's yeah. that. I, I'm Dude, no, 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 I have to say, like, <laughs> I had the Xbox growing up. I was hardcore, like Xbox 360, yeah. Xbox One. And I bought a PS4 only like a year or two ago. And I very quickly was like, oh my God, I've been fucking up this whole time. So, <laughs> and my homie, well, see, my homie lent me his PS4. I played Spider Man, which was fine. It was great. And I played Ghost of Tsushima, which really was great, but it did not make me run out and buy a fucking PlayStation. I love it, but no place, no console has anything that, to brag about. At this point, yeah. just, yeah, right let now, really just let us choose. Just let us choose to play what we want to play. Was. Last, yeah, that was one of the consoles I used the most. PC yeah. Master. Last race, generation was. End. Yeah, the last generation Basically. was the only generation where I didn't get an Xbox because every generation I get yeah. all the, I get all the consoles. Yeah. Every generation. I don't but, like console yeah. exclusive. Just let fucking everyone have everything. I played Final Fantasy 15 because it finally came to fucking Xbox. I enjoyed mm -hmm. it for what it was. I'd love to play the other ones. Just mm -hmm. let everyone. If you want to do a year timed exclusive, fine. But I'm over this console. See, there we are. I'm on yeah. that board. Like, let yeah. Hell Divers yeah. play on <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> Unite the world. <laughs> Fuck. Just yeah, do like, this. There, there's no unite the world by PC to console exclusives. It doesn't help anybody. Yeah, yeah it doesn't. Man, yeah. it was, it, to be fine, there was a time when it did. Like when when the video game market before PC was so ubiquitous, and there was legitimate competition in the gaming space. Oh, like when was E3 was fucking much... big. When it was like mm -hmm. so yeah. like PlayStation, Xbox, like Nintendo, and it was really fucking big. Yeah. That yeah. shit was legit at the time. I, but I think now? the only company that still should do exclusives is Nintendo. I'll, I'll be real. I'll be fucking damned if I see yeah. Mario on a PlayStation or an Xbox. Nintendo needs no, to stay I want to play Nintendo games on PC. <laughs> I, I, wait, are you being serious or is that sarcasm? Yes, I'm serious. I want to play Nintendo games on PC. <laughs> I mean, I would play Pokemon if they released Pokemon games on PC or an MMO. I'll use their controller can... if they want me to use the controller. I don't care, but I want yeah. to play on PC. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a weird compromise. Like I play, I will play Zelda. I'll on buy PC your, I'll buy you controller. The proprietary Nintendo controller. I'll buy, a controller, I'll buy the game on PC. Oh, see, that's my dirty fun. Is I play uh PlayStation games with my Xbox controller on my. I'm playing Days Gone with my <laughs> Xbox same. controller you on the PC. <laughs> <laughs> I won. I, I don't even know what you are anymore. Like, like, um, <laughs> Bro, okay. So speaking multiple language. On. I was say so like playing Ghost of Tsushima on my friend's PS4. I was so brain retarded trying to because I'm Xbox <laughs> PC and then I'm playing on the the PS uh, controller. Yeah, please just let me let me say one controller. My brain's gonna break. I'm excited <laughs> to play that game now because it's like it's I've been slowly a doing 10 it. Ten but... out of ten. Okay, sweet. It is a ten out of ten. It really is a great game. Uh, and uh, the director and writer of the John Wick movies, uh, Chad. Yeah, I was gonna bring that up. He's played Ghost of Tsushima. He knows the character's name, and he's gonna. He, you know, a lot of these players, I convinced oh, him yeah, to play the game. Dude, All right. He's played the game. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a Ghost of Tsushima. I'm. I think it's gonna be awesome. He's yeah. Also, I don't know. I don't know how many people know about this. Chad Stileski teamed up with Kinoshiro Watanabe, the creator of Cowboy Bebop, and they're working on an anime together. I've heard that. Oh, wow. The creator oh, wow. of Cowboy Bebop and the creator Ooh. of John Wick working together on anime. That's gonna be oh, fucking oh, wow. hype. But also, dude. Ghost of Tsushima could easily have been an Assassin's Creed game. Easily, the mm -hmm. game. It's well, the only thing was missing was Hidden is. Blades. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it could have been yeah. easily. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Man, there's like this anime. I gotta look it up again because I, I don't remember it right off the top of my head. But it's one that I think it's on High Dive. It's about like an immortal. It's like an immortal samurai dude that like the, he, he he has like a very hard he has a very hard time dying because oh. so, yeah, yeah, no, it's very no, hard. No, no. No, because like some witch, some some witch somehow like cursed him by having him like she cursed him with like, a very hard. Oh, no. 
<laughs> no, she had him like eat these blood worms that somehow like instantly regenerate any missing limbs and shit. And nice. the dude's been alive for like hundreds of years. Mm. And then like this girl basically hires him, like this immortal John Wick, to just kill off these people that have been killing off all other like samurai sword school or something. It's pretty interesting, actually. It's a very good anime. It, it focuses, it, it's like a, it will remind you of like the old period uh, films, if you will. They, they, they really lean oh. heavily on that. Yeah. Cool. So if you look, if you like Shogun, you'll like that anime. That's all I I'm love saying. Shogun. So well, there Matt, you go. thank I'll you find to Levisro dropping another five. Says last call for gray people in the chat to be green. Speak up and chat. Levisro, dude, you are out there killing it. Thank you so much for being a vital idol and making all these other folks vital idols. You are killing the game. Thank you, brother. Yo, Levisro, you should come by my live stream sometime. I could definitely use some <laughs> Right. So it's called uh it's called Blade of the Immortal. It's also on Amazon, by the way, Amazon Prime. Nice. So if you want to watch oh, it there, yeah. That's that's, 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 okay. Yeah. So it's a uh, it's it's there. It's an amazing anime. Um, I think you'll I think you guys will like it. it it's not, now that I think about it, it's quite old, but it's very good. Amazing. Uh, I I do not have my okay. Well, this is I have an original Xbox, but it I don't know if it's in working order because uh, it, it was my Xbox you know that I had growing up. Still have that same Xbox, and it uh, I've not tried to play it in years. It sat at my dad's house unused for probably well over a decade he just recently gave a bat to me and uh, i've not tried to plug it in or hook it up and, and see if it's working so that's something i'll need to get around to doing and see if that thing's still got life in it because man i i love there's I ten thousand dollars probably start Who's right it? up yeah okay, there's ten thousand oh, dollars inside of it you just haven't opened it yet <laughs> that, uh the, I remember the very first two games i bought for for the original xbox was the star wars clone wars game Wow. Uh, it came with it. It was it was like that and Tetris in a dual pack, and then ATV off uh, ATV quad power racing. And those were I never played a racing game or anything where you could like kick people off their fucking ATVs and shit like that. It was it was a game changer. It was eye opening. <laughs> yeah. I say mine was Kotor. I, I, s- I yeah. still have the Prima guide for it, like the old school gaming nice. guide. Yeah, nice. I know those. And I, oh, when, when I got, the when internet. I played Star Wars Clone Wars. I had no idea that it was a uh, mostly like a vehicle game and so like you would really relish the moments where you get out of the get out of the vehicle and you're like slicing up battle droids and shit uh yeah a lot of a lot of fun yeah and road rash we talked about that earlier which is one i missed i never played uh the yeah. my, my first racing game was probably cruising 66 on the nintendo 64 i'm not much of a racing game guy though i don't know about any uh, hydro yeah, thunder really. i used to play the shit out of like the burnout thunder. games back in the day those were fun yeah I, that's Racing is one of the genres I don't really get into. That's like one of my least played. I like the sillier ones, like Burnout or the ones that don't take it seriously. But like, yeah, I'll, I'll get down like Mario Kart any day. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Mar- Those... Mario or Sonic need be, needs to be in the car, or Goku needs to be driving in the Go Kart <laughs> or Sonic for me to play a racing game. Yeah, <laughs> I know, like cru- cruising sixty six. I really enjoy because at the time again, the, the uh, Nintendo sixty four was like oh. it was brand new and it was shiny, like. It was so realistic looking at the times, like, oh, these are real cities, these are real highways, and uh, you know, real model yeah. cards. I never experienced anything like that. So, one racing driver, game that was yes, big one. for I, me. Yeah, I, I liked, oh, I Driver was sick. One. Yeah, I liked the Driver, driver games. Too. Yeah, Driver yeah. was, was awesome. Uh, one racing, I block game, that out? racing game I fucking loved was Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. I think everybody played that because you could customize your car. It was straight up like how Fast and Furious was. It was really when like Pimp My Ride was big at the time. You could do these really custom ribs and crazy shit. Pimp My Ride had a Wii game. Did you ever play it? No. Never. It was actually fucking fun. It was stupid, but it was fun. The Pimp My Ride came on Wii. I played it. <laughs> like a Tetris with a car or something. Yeah, it was, you would you would do these dumb little mini game challenges, and it would like unlock like you know, like different kinds of spinners and paint jobs, and it was it was retarded. It was like it was Mario <laughs> Party for people that thought they were hard watching MTV. Is what it yeah. was. So that's turning a game. Green. Like, say it again. Vistro. I said turning people yeah, green. Vistro dropping more. He dropped two Damn. more gifted subs, dude. Well, Vistro just okay. Oh, Vistro. Mini game today, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Aaron. Did you guys uh, know that uh, they're making a uh, what's it called a Titan Quest? I think it's a remaster, overall remaster, or, is a, or a sequel at this point. I don't even know. But... I don't know what Titan Quest is to begin with. God damn it, Leon! Come on, <laughs> bro. It's like you literally play these made... really weird esoteric games that no one's ever it's fucking not... heard of. Dragon. No, Slayer. no, no. Don't you say that shit. Okay, no, I will not let that shit slide. So take it back. <laughs> 
So the uh, designers of Diablo 2 actually made the original uh, Titan Quest and its expansion. Oh, that's probably good then. Yeah, and then there's also the ones who also made Grim Dawn. Uh, and they and THQ Nordic basically, as usual, revived the shit. And they're like, oh, yeah, it would be nice. Uh, let's just make a, a full like remaster of the original game and, and make it so people on modern systems can actually play and enjoy it properly. And that's what we're getting now, very soon, it seems. But yeah, they, they really that really all sounds very good and important. But you know what's even better and more important? Sonia Lysett coming in, dropping a oh, hey. Thank you, Sonia. Out there killing it, girly. <laughs> much love, much appreciated. You, 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 you mean the world to me. Thank you, girly. Hate to say it, but Path of Exile over Diablo at this point. Yeah, man, Diablo yeah. hasn't been the same. I'm gonna be real. I've never played Last Path of Exile been... over Diablo, uh, Titan Quest over Diablo, Grim Dawn over Diablo. Basically anything. I, I do want to play Grim Dawn. What did you say they're remaking? Uh oh, uh Titan Quest. Titan so, Quest. Okay, they're doing yeah. Titan, it. So you can uh, literally basically look a new Titan Quest instead of just building off of the old one. Yeah. So I cool. think it's a uh, Titan Quest. Uh, Titan Quest. No, not Titan. Because yeah, I played. Yeah, I like went halfway through Titan Quest. And I didn't end up beating it, but yeah, uh, Titan Quest is cool. It, it's cool, but like you know, it had that old system design that Grim Dawn later improved upon. Yes. You know, so yeah, that's why I was like, but, yeah. Titan Quest is cool, but I'm probably just gonna. Get yeah. Grim Dawn someday and play that side because yeah. I don't like the genre mm -hmm. that much. I'd rather play the best one available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grim Dawn is releasing an expansion pack, by the way, surprisingly yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. They, they keep putting those out. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Dude, it's amazing, man. So much ARPG love all of a sudden. And I'm surprised Last Epoch actually released because they a are, lot of people they are were... massive games. So it is kind of hard to yeah. actually start making them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because people will definitely brush them off if they're too short. No, yeah, but so that's you, you, you bring no, you brought up something interesting talking about being too short what? because there was that Kotaku article recently that was people blew me made a big deal about when it wasn't actually that big of a deal talking about how certain developers talk about making games shorter. And I don't know about you guys, I want I, my, my most of my games, I want to be if they're a short game, I want them to have plenty of replayability so that I can go like, yeah. like the Resident Evil games, for example. Most horror games are made to where like you can speed run them in under a few hours, but you keep doing it for different paths, different weapons. Or I play super long games like RPGs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I don't know if, if a game is short, that doesn't bother mm -hmm. me unless there's no yeah. reason. To I that really game. like roguelikes, yeah. but I don't need most of my games to be replayable because I yeah. have so many yeah. different ones. Mm -hmm. Like I don't mind yeah. just going through a game one time. Exactly. I mean, yeah, my my, my backlog is crazy. My backlog is crazy. And yeah, like I don't need a lot of I don't time. need replayable games. Yeah. As long yeah. as it's not like crazy yeah. expensive for the price. If it's not like a six dollar title that's like mm -hmm. three hours long, I'm probably not gonna be upset about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got two recommend I got a recommendation then. Uh Kingdoms of Amalur re reckoning is also good. It's not too yeah, long, it. but also not twice. Too but, they, yeah, but they made OG the re and the re release. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I played the OG Kingdom of Amalur. Yep, and I really yeah. liked it. One of my favorite oh, authors good. of all time, R.A. Yeah. Salvatore, worked on the like that was the whole reason I bought the game mm -hmm. because yep. R.A. Salvatore worked on it. She heard the release for NASCAR Daytona arcade game. Do 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 Daytona. Thank you, hey. Trashy Drifter. Appreciate you coming in with that, brother. Hey, look, I I'm just saying, like, as long it when it comes to short games, my standard is do like be interesting in the story department, like the order 1886 was, but better gameplay and maybe not as short to the point where you think you're playing a really in a really like short interactive movie that's yeah, just no, if my, you my if you do everything and all the dlc for the witcher 3 it ends up being like 160 180 yeah. hours it's all the way right. through it like, is yeah. you don't need to do it that's all like but if you do so i'm not gonna like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, first play through, it's like a 120 hour game on your first playthrough that's insane bro, i've i've done like three or four times all the way through it's that good it's that when the content <laughs> is that good you end up going through it even like oh i'm gonna ignore that and then i end up i end up doing it anyway just because yep. you want that much more time with the character yeah so like, if it's done right i don't care how long it is but yeah on some of them i do want uh like uh, at least a new game plus and something to go through the game mm -hmm. again see i think the yeah, reason i want true. replayability so bad is because like when i'm not playing horror games my go-to genre is, is is technical fighters like you know street fighter uh you know marvelous capcom 3 things like that so those are games that never really end because you can always just keep getting better keep learning frames and so i stick with those games forever yeah mine are just ARPGs, so 
just, I'm saying you finally get like good outfits and you finally get all your skills and then just like the fucking game ends. Yep. That's what <laughs> yeah. I like. It's like. Okay. Yeah. I'll let me do game plus it with yeah. all the things that I just acquired throughout, mm. you know, all those. And, and like, for me, really I really enjoy liked it. learning new things and really mm -hmm. playing a new game is like learning something new. So that's why I've always mm -hmm. liked doing it. Yeah. That. When they don't yeah. all play the same, like so many modern games do, or at least modern AAA yeah. games. Like, I, yeah. I don't play yeah, that's it. Pretty that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty I haven't played like a long game in a long time like that. Like, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. You just I, played Final Fantasy Rebirth. No, no, I was about to, about to, about to, I was about to mention that. Yeah, okay. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I did like 160 hours. And then uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, I did like 101 hours. And I enjoyed every last bit of that. But it's very rare that I get moments like that where I spend hundreds of hours. Like, oh, I I'm at 200 hours on Cyberpunk. And I'm still not oh, done wow. with the uh, Phantom Liberty. Damn. Like, for my I original still didn't even get back to that game. These, yeah. Oh, it's... I, I gotta get it's back been to patched. it. It's worth it. Yeah, yeah. No, I know that. Yeah, <laughs> now it worked. After yeah, the anime now it came out, now. <laughs> yeah, after the anime yeah. came out, I I just finally just say, you know what? I'm gonna just dive right mm -hmm. in and play it. And yeah, it's mm -hmm. awesome. It's and it's there's a lot of anime really? content that they added. Like the music yeah. will start playing. You can date your significant other, mm -hmm. and they'll start. You can dance, and that music will come oh, on wow. from the anime. They knew what they were doing. Uh, wow. The cinematics. You know, you could get yeah. weapons from the anime characters if you go to the spot that they uh, yeah, die in. The it's good. It's good. Oh man, I, I yeah. definitely gotta oh. run back to that game. Yes, little Kid Miss Anonymous Cajun. coming in right here Ooh. with easily my oh, favorite yeah. games on the in the PS2. But by, by, by like, I can agree if with you. Yeah. Leon, what's your favorite PS2 game? The Jack Trilogy. When I like Jack the Ratchet and Clank one. Yep. Oh, uh, you Ratchet know what? I'd be crazy. I love Ratchet and Clank, but yeah, man, there's something good. about yeah. Jack and Daxter that just hit mm -hmm. different, dude. You, you know what? I really wish they would do, but I, I don't know if they'll ever do it. It's like a open. It's like an open world game, but like. Kind of like with Kingdom, like Kingdoms of Amalur inspired in the sense that like the lore and like the areas are very wide open, but not too open that it feels empty. But yeah. with the combat of like Shadow of War, I would say, and set it in Middle Earth. That's all I want. I want a fucking Middle Earth open world RPG. And I don't know how throughout these two decades, no one has made a single one. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, either, it's, it's either Arkham Knight or... Or, or 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 the other way around, you know? Oh, Shadows of War and all that. Yeah, I mentioned a little bit earlier that I don't really feel about like going back to Titan Quest because like I think there's a better game out there of that type I want to play. That's yeah. one reason I dropped uh, Shadow of Mordor is because I have Shadow of War too, and I know Shadow yeah. of War is probably going to be more enjoyable. <laughs> I might as well just play that. Yeah. It's another hundred hour game. Yeah, I don't really need to play the, that one mm -hmm. when I'm going to get the same, probably better experience than Shadow of War. Yeah, like literally just go like to Little Gamers Playground channel and just watch the cutscenes of Shadow of Mordor if you just mm -hmm. want to. Yeah, yeah, just like the story, story and then move stuff, on. Like, okay, cool. Go yeah. to the next one. It's like yeah. Shadow of War. Because yeah. they're both pretty replayable games, right? It, it, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I get from like the mm -hmm. Nemesis system. You can definitely yeah. replay those. There's a lot of fun. Oh, games. that Nemesis system yeah. is amazing. Imagine if they added into like the next open world RPG. Holy I mean, yeah, God, like, that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, hold on, Jimmy Bros Boy. There's no care. such thing as a God of War clone because God of War is a fucking Devil May Cry clone. So they're all <laughs> Devil May Cry. Yeah, that's true. Clones. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. And, that's true. Honestly, those type of beat ups aren't really types of games I've ever touched. So, Devil May Cry Five, that's gonna be fun to try out. <laughs> Wait, you, those are Dark Siders really is good too. Really if you're like, Dark 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 really play, I don't really play games like Devil May Cry. So I did no. get through uh, Dark Siders up at least up to yep. the third one, and there was yeah, one of us. Like, like, my, my brother has all three. Yep, that's um, yeah. the first game. It's really, really good. It's like God of War mixed with Ocarina and Tom. Yep, yep, that's the first one. I like the story and the concepts and all that. Yeah, 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 I just yeah. like being a horseman of the apocalypse and killing shit. Okay, like they, <laughs> they did a smart move putting war uh -huh. first, and they they hired Liam O'Brien to do the voice of war. <laughs> that was just epic. Every, well, and the guy they got to do death, and uh, yeah, that's that too. I know I'll give that credit too, but like, bro, like Liam O'Brien, fucking Illidan, being fucking horseman of death. Uh, I mean, sorry, of war. That's mm -hmm. cool too. But yeah, I'll I'll say yeah, death was pretty awesome as well. Um. But yeah, what, I think the only one that they haven't gotten around to is Strife. Like uh, they did it in a him. fucking mobile game. Not a mobile oh, game. It's like yeah, a fucking top, beat 'em up party. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a top down. But to top me, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Yeah. I got that he needs yeah, his yeah, own game. Yeah. Like I don't yeah. care. Like he needs his own game, and then fine, you can like have him like start the apocalypse afterwards. But you will not. Yeah, death. Yes, when it comes to gameplay mechanics, yes, death is better in Darksiders 2, but in terms of the character, I just like war better. Because war is literally like, what the fuck is going on? 
You know what? I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna kill everyone. <laughs> yeah, I actually have access to all yeah. four Dark Siders games, including Dark Siders mm-hmm. Genesis. <laughs> yeah, that's the the yeah. top. Yeah, down that's one. the last one. Yeah, the yeah. top down one. Yeah, that's the oh shit! One. There might be about to be a war in the comments because Jim Harrison what? sang the tales of, like they about to go at it when it comes to their uh, their their God of War takes. Uh, oh, completely shit. different. Dark Siders one is like God of War Bayonetta is like DMC. I mean, that's oh, another Lord. great one. Fucking Bayonetta. Yeah. I mm-hmm. Bayonetta games. Well, the first two at least are. Yep. Fire. That's I did not expect Nintendo to come in and save that franchise because the first one did not sell well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really cool that they did. Yeah, it's and nice then they released that recent one. It was like a storybook stuff. thing. Oh, there's a game I haven't thought about in ages. Brutal Legend. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. oh man, I've been wanting to replay that because obviously I do a metal channel. Since some of you my better do it. It's that metal I enough. Do a live stream of playing that shit. That would be so fun. <laughs> Yeah, that, would be, that would be awesome. Yeah. Brutal Legend was fucking Brutal banger. Like, you, uh, I think it was was uh, Mugen time about how his PS3 collected dust. I'm like, this that's a PS3 game that I played the shit out of. Was Brutal Legend? Is that even PS3? I feel like it was even earlier. It's than Xbox. That. I mean, I know it's Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, it's at Xbox, least on Game yeah. Pass, but yeah. it might be on other stuff. It's old as fuck, yeah. but yeah, that was fun. I, I, I mean, sh- the moment the moment Ozzy popped up, I was like, dude, th- 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 I'm sold. This game no, is about uh, yeah. movie games. Uh, the Ghostbuster game. Because I just I'm playing it the remastered version, but it wasn't three. But where it, it was going to be a movie with Ben Stiller, and they just took that and like everyone came back and voices their own character. Is all that the how that game actors. came to fruition? It was originally yeah, gonna be a movie. It was going to be a movie with Ben Stiller, and they just made the Ben Stiller character the fucking player character. But then you know Bill Murray comes back. Harold Ramis was still alive at the time, so yeah, yeah. it's it's a worthy third movie. Yeah, mm. I, I loved that game when it came out, but I had no idea that that it's was remastered to be on a, Steam. Really, I didn't like know that six game bucks. got remastered yeah. either. Because yeah. yeah, everyone was calling it rightfully so, like the true Ghostbusters three, and no they one all have, they all voice their parts game. and their cinematic. Like we were talking what? about, the cinematics are like the movie, basically. Well, and, and, and the comedy YouTube. was that very eighties era comedy that just isn't replicated anymore. Yeah, well, they tried and failed, but yeah, 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 it's, it's got the comedy the way it should be. Yep, it's worth it. It's worth it. Along with Jedi Survivor, it's worth it. <laughs> I didn't know that pre-ordering Brutal Legend came with a figurine of Jack Black. It did, yeah. It did. It's the That's little cool. figure yep. and everything. Mm-hmm. I was trying to remember the name of those games earlier. I couldn't. Oh, remember the dude, the Thank first you. one was awesome. I remember that because the where you had like the little demon guys. Mm, hold on, I have heard that yeah. one before. It was a sh- first-person shooter, but shooter, he like a yeah. boss by some yeah, demon. Yeah, like monsters on his back and stuff. Like yeah, that. so yeah. you could either shoot people or you could like eat their fucking souls. Oh, and it was like, very weird. I thought it was like tattoos come alive or something. It's based on their comic book. That's yeah! Cool. Wow! That wow! Man. Oh, really? It's based wow. off a comic book? Yeah, it's a comic yeah. book. Yeah, yeah it's based off a comic book. Oh, I, I, think dark, that. I think it's Dark Horse comic. Yeah. Uh, uh, has anyone played the RoboCop? Uh, Rogue. No, I still haven't it? played that yet. Yeah, I've heard I've, a lot about it. It's good. I watched Cassie play it, and it looks great. It's like, so fucking like, good. It is just in line with the movies. Like, and it references the first two movies. Same, same uh, violence mm-hmm. and humor. So they can get things right. They can totally get things right. That's a new game. I've been for for years. I've been wanting a survival horror game set in the the future of of the Terminator, like the Terminator franchise. Hell yeah! Have you played Dark Fate? I, oh, I game, always the... talked about. I always wanted like you know in Resident Evil how you have Mister X. I always wanted a Terminator yeah. game where Terminator like on Schwarzenegger's it's character would pop up like Mister exactly. X, and he just yeah. stalks you to down and shit. I think that would be fucking awesome. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Terminator Fate is a decent one. It's a first person shooter. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's yeah. a good yeah, one. No, I've, I've been played. That's all I ever wanted. games I've ever played were always arcade games. I've I never just played wanted that game. futuristic fucking war with the Terminators <laughs> with the laser. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. There's some good arcade ones it. that were good where they had a really good, a big, yep. like a mm-hmm. rifle mm-hmm. controller. Yeah. That game was fun. Yeah, yeah, those are good. Well, yeah, no, Terminator just, I don't know, for whatever reason, it, I, I didn't even know it really had console games. It was, and none of them ever jumped out at me, at least. So, yeah. And then, well, they had some, they had Terminator yeah. versus Robocop back in the day for Nintendo. Yeah, on the SNES and Sega Genesis. They had that yeah, on a Mortal yeah, Kombat Sega game really? recently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that, that was a big hype because it, it, they did a whole promotional campaign. Because uh, it was during a time where they, they started doing like versus crossovers because it was Aliens versus Predator. Yep. And yeah. they had Robocop versus Terminator. And it in, was the, co- like, in the comics in the 80s and, yeah. and 90s and yeah. shit, that shit was big. Yeah it was, yeah. yeah. it was a big thing back then. I mean, I still, well, yeah, I think yeah. that's dope. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. that Ash from Evil Dead and Marvel combined too. That's one of my favorite. Like, oh, dude, stories. those, co- yeah, the, uh, yeah. the Army of Darkness versus yeah. Marvel Zombies is one of my favorite comic runs They're of all fucking time. Awesome. Like, I actually played the uh, Terminator Salvation movie game, which 
it wasn't horrible for a movie. Like I, it was one of those things I played on the hardest difficulty, beat the whole thing in seven hours, and I've never played it again. Uh, me and Mister <laughs> Tech Rat played it, but like where one person would have to, it was sort of like Army of Two, where one person would have to distract while another person flanked to get the like the weak spot in the back of the. But yeah, so, some mm -hmm. of those were like this is oddly playable for a generic movie adaptation yeah. that will never play ever again. Dude didn't look like Christian Bale. It was like a generic <laughs> John Connor. But. Uh, uh, Things are asking if anyone remembers Lord of the Rings War in the North. Um, I feel like I played I that. Was that the right one where now. you controlled armies? Like, it, it, no, it, no. Or, so basically, it's a oh god, this game you can't even get it through Steam anymore because of licensing issues, but you can get it at got from you can get it at GOG, by the way. Uh, of course you can. but yeah, you can mm -hmm. get a GOG. But I recommend anyone that, that loves like Lord of the Rings in general just buy that shit because it's fun. But it, it's like a it was the, it was pitched as a a three-player co-op game but you can play it solo where you either get to play like a dunadine ranger a dwarf from erebor that was like in the battle of five armies or like this elven sage who sort of acts as like a support healer or like a really fucking strong glass cannon damage dealer either or but can you play as galadriel who killed an ice demon in under 30 seconds no, but you can play a female elf that's sort of like a second rate Galadriel and get that fantasy out of your way. Yes. Ooh, you know, I'll that's take the one inclusion. I'm talking sure, about. Yeah, so yeah. That's the sage I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And you can, like, and the thing is, like, the story, it was pretty interesting. Like, it was pretty standard for the time. Nowadays, if we compare it to, like, other game stories or even, like, movie plots, people will be like, oh my God, this is the best thing fucking ever masterpiece. But back then it was just standard. Oh, and speaking uh, but, of but, story there. Yeah. Look, yeah. shout out in the chat to Trashy Trip, uh, Brothers in Arms. That was brutal as fuck. It was right yep. around saving yep. Private Ryan and Band of yep. Brothers and all that. And like when you blew yeah. someone up with the grenade, you would see bone fragments. Like it was realistic. <laughs> yeah, just remember, yeah. like it looked <laughs> like a World War II thing. Mm hmm. No, yeah. And, and, and the world like that ever caught on. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Oh, at yeah. all. So, and Brian, uh, Hell's Highway, the sequel mm -hmm. too, or the yep. expansion, whatever it was. Mm hmm. Oh, but the thing uh, is, so uh, in the story, basically, you're this trio that has basically been told by Gandalf, hey, look, we're going on this journey with this important thing that, you know, every fan knows is the ring, but you don't know that shit. All you're told is, hey, we need you to distract the enemy and prevent them from, like, building armies up here in Eriador uh, so, that, so that we don't get attacked from behind. That's what, all that Gandalf tells you. And you just go on this journey where... You're trying to do exactly just that. You get to fight a bunch of trolls, go to a lot of locations that were mentioned in the books, but never shown in the movies. And you get it, you get to collect a lot of loot. And the fights are actually quite challenging. And if you get played on the harder modes, it, it will challenge your insanity. I won't I won't lie. I, I beat it on the hardest mode a long time ago on Xbox 360 when that thing first came out. God, that was rough, but it was amazing. And, does anybody yeah. oh sorry sorry, sorry sorry i thought you're finished continue no no, no I'm, I'm just saying like if you want and if you want an alternative story where it's just three people going up against like this this evil sorcerer like this evil numenorian sorcerer or, or black numenorian sorcerer that got like powered up by the witch king you know and your job is to basically beat that bastard and in the end it's a really good game just saying so does anybody have any like underrated or hidden gems they grew up with that they wish more people knew or experienced? Hmm. Mm. I have to think on that um, one for a minute. Yes, yeah. Let's they, see. While you guys are thinking, I'll, I'll just off the top, Dark Watch. There was this Capcom game. I was going to mention oh. that game, dude. Yeah. No way. Oh, where, okay. where you're the vampire. And you <laughs> yes. Jump the yeah. Vampire dude, I, yeah. I was speaking about that game earlier. I was going to mention it on here. Dude, oh, yeah, yeah. That oh, game was sick. Gotcha. Absolute classic. Yeah, it's some of the coolest pistols ever. Yeah. yeah let me see. Gotcha Force yeah. for the uh, Nintendo GameCube. It was a Capcom game. Um, this is the first time I ever heard the word gotcha. Uh, it's pretty much like these little kids. It's like, like you ever played the game called Virtual On? I think it was for the Sega Saturn. You had, it's like a mecha fighting game, but it was for this one's like for kids. You have these like these little robots that come in these capsules. It was like a gotcha mechanic. You have this character named G Red. He's like a red robot. And what happens is you pretty much um, all the robots, all the gotcha forces are like it's on a point system. So you can have up to a thousand points, and each robot costs a certain amount of points. So you can be able to build your unit and play against other children and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, with that game, it's, it's over. Kind of reminds me like, like Metabots almost. Yeah, yeah. It's, really over, like, it's over 256 different gotcha uh, board uh, bots that you could be able to collect. 
And then you got some gotcha bots where you had to get multiple different gotcha capsules in order to, to assemble and put them together. And the arenas are like your playroom or the playground and stuff. And it's made by Capcom. Like, it was a really good game. It was a Nintendo GameCube. Yep, gotcha force. Uh, yeah, so for me, yeah. the original uh, Deus Ex. That like yeah. even when I played it for the first yeah, time, yeah, I was aware it was like I was playing something legendary. <laughs> so yeah. was actually a couple weeks ago sent me a link to that on Steam to pick it up because I'd never played the original Deus Ex, and apparently it's totally still holds up worth replaying. So I still think it holds it. up. I still yeah. think the story for sure fucking holds up. And uh you see that like oh my god, that was the progenitor of so many. Someone said perfect uh dark, like well, yeah, that's where a lot yeah, of it okay. came from was Deus Ex. Deus Ex was sick. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really have any. I, I, I know I love it because Cyberpunk Kingdom is my Rays favorite is genre. Like my favorite Rays. fictional genre is Cyberpunk. So I know that, that yeah. I would enjoy the only one I ever played was um Deus Ex. Uh what was the one that came out on the 360? Um there's uh Mankind Divided and uh, Invisible. There's a couple of them. There's the Deus Ex, Deus Ex 2, Invisible War, Humankind, and then Mankind Divided, the two Adam mm -hmm. Jensen ones, I think. Mm-hmm. So, oh, so the coming reasons. in with a fiver, Overlord co by Co-Masters. Wokies will shit a brick with Mistress of the Tower, but you're a Sauron character, highly underrated. Dude, thank you so much for the fiver. And yeah, I've, I've never played. Wait, Overlord, are you talking about the, was that the one for the, that was like a PS3 launch title yeah. where you, uh, you, you control the minions, basically? That was Maybe, really yeah, You were basically like, yeah, you were basically a literal dark Overlord. Like you could play it's your like fantasy of except Sauron. with demons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just, I, I remember really enjoying that when it came yeah. out. That was a launch out of the PS3. Mm -hmm. It was one of the few PS3 games I had. It was that yeah. and a uh, a Conan game that came out around the same time. Okay. It was a very God of War ish. And that Conan yeah. game was yeah, fucking I remember sick. That. You had to I save all the EA fucking owned naked owned women I didn't and shit. Know, uh, <laughs> it. Yep, there we go. Oh, man. No, yeah, it was like Evil that. Pikmin. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, it was. Uh, oh, Lord. That's, that's a hard one. Like, if we're talking about growing up, like, definitely. Uh, I probably said it a bunch of times, but like Medieval 2 Total War, 100%. Like that one, that one was like my peak childhood game. And when I saw somebody make like a mod, like a Lord of the Rings Total War mod for that game, I was just so amazed. And that's when I knew like if, a, if, if Sega wanted to, or sorry, Creative Assembly, not Sega, but if Creative Assembly wanted to, they could easily make a really good like Middle Earth Total War game. They just don't fucking want to, and I don't know if they can even afford the licensing by now. Uh, but that that was one of them. And there's also a little, like, I guess, underrated game that I don't think a lot of people have played because it's like it's based off of like a set of novels, I believe. It's called Shadows Awakening, right? So basically, I you're, don't the, think I've heard of that. Yeah, that's on Steam right now. So that one, you basically have this interesting. ARPG mechanic that you don't see often where you're playing this demon that somehow was like released from a seal by some powerful sorcerer and your job as far as you know is to just possess the like bodies of like former powerful heroes or warriors and you can like individually customize each hero or warrior and activate like up to four or five Human evolution time. that was the game that was the Deus Ex I played Human evolution. Sorry, sorry. Continue, yeah. Dragon Slayer. I just, I no, had it, it just popped into my head which one it was. It's human evolution. I played. I really like. Yeah. yeah. No, you're good. You're good. But like, yeah, that one, that that one, you get to basically play a demon where like you can phase in between the physical world when you like possess like the, or like when you like. That's kind of cool. Yeah, like you, you can, it's pretty awesome. You can actually like trigger up to five heroes and tailor each one. Like you can make two, one be a ranged, one one be like a ranged attacker the other one is like this really powerful melee person but swings very slow the other one is like a super tanky but can't hit that hard like you can you can switch around them and if you're in the in the demonic in your demon form you basically just get to play like the little puzzle mini games where you you, you have to figure out okay this is when i'm going to switch into demon form to cross this place or this is when i'm gonna just switch back to physical form to get back on track whatever i'm doing it's interesting uh, I say, I say, I, I, of course, it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but I find it to be quite interesting. And it has like the interesting dark lore, if you will, you know, so. Uh, yeah. For any Evil Dead fans, um, hey. there was an Evil Dead game on the Dreamcast called Hail the King, which was awesome. It plays it like a Resident Evil cast. game, but it's got like the, the, you know, Evil Dead humor. And you play as Ash. Oh, yeah. 
fix really? camera angles and run around with your boomstick and like yeah if you, if you like old school you know style resident evil but you're a fan of bruce campbell play play evil dead hail of the king that shit is awesome i don't know if it holds up i'm gonna be real but it's one i grew up with uh, again being a massive evil dead fan you know i watched that evil dead tv super series. underrated yeah it is underrated Wait, wait, oh. you said you watched the Evil Dead TV series? Like, you just recently watched it for the first time? Ash versus no, Evil Dead? No, no, like, I watched it long ago, and then I was oh, sad okay. that I was sad that it that it, it was just ended in such a, like, an open-ended way. I was like, come on, man. He's now here, and you're not going to show him be a badass? <laughs> that's, yeah, but that, that's done. Yeah. That's an homage to the original yeah. ending of Army of Darkness that was cut yeah. from theater. So, like, I love yeah. the fact that it ended like that. Mm. I, I thought it was a very good way to, mm. to tie everything back together. Yeah. I, I did love the fact that they really focus a lot on the original, on the original's charm, which is basically just an, an a, a goofy asshole fighting a bunch of evil demons. <laughs> which the, the new Evil Dead game isn't bad, but it's it's just Dead by Daylight, but Evil mm -hmm. Dead skinned. Like that's and and those sorts of games are fun for short bursts. But I mean, I I don't know if I was I'm gonna get an Evil Dead game in modern day. I want like there to be story and is as yeah. dumb and hokey as the story would be. So. Oh, and I should have mentioned it. Yeah, uh, Trashy Drifter. Mad Max, the game, is actually a dope game. It yeah, came out really? around the time of uh, Fury Road, but yeah. it's sort of like, it just if you just consider it it's as like all the history happened. World game. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, Batman Arkham combat style and really good driving mechanics. You upgrade your car constantly and uh, told a decent story. Yeah, you just drive around, do you know whatever. What I'm noticing have on, on this stream, there's a lot of good licensed games. Licensed games get shit on, but like we <laughs> talked about a lot of good licensed games. Yeah, because we we really well, the there's ones. enough bad that they have a bad rap, but there's also enough good ones that we yeah. secretly could point out the like the Butcher Bays or the Wolverine or that's, that's, that's over a time of the, like 25 years. Yeah, you you can go through like the era all the way through the, like the probably the Xbox 360 era. You go through all those. There's so many awful licensed games in yeah. between. That. Yeah. yeah, so many. Yeah. I Those heard good the ones stand Iron out. Man tie-in game was really good, though. I never played it, but like the, the Iron Man tie-in game for the Xbox 360 was apparently. I remember that. Yeah, I remember. I wanted to play that. Was that was I think that was my old, Sega, my like childhood experience. I don't really have many old games that aren't like super well known. I was looking through some of them. Uh, Terraria was like one of my favorites as a kid. It has passed one million reviews on Steam. <laughs> oh really? Is Terraria oh, wow. that? It's like a. a it's two D Terraria or to Minecraft or, or Terraria, something. Yes. Like, People compare it to Minecraft, but really it's mostly an RPG. Basically, you go down, you explore, you kill monsters, you mine loot, and you get better armor. Then you fight demons, then you kill the demons, then you get demon armor. Then you just keep progressing through the story. You go to an underground dungeon, you go to a jungle, and then you go to hell. <laughs> and then you kill the wall Damn, of flesh. Okay, and, then, and then there's another two-thirds of the game after you kill the wall of flesh. <laughs> Yeah, I remember being nuts. so surprised that game was being sold physically because the, the cover showed that it was all 8 bit art. And usually that was reserved for like indie games. Uh, it's, like, not, um, it's not. You're making me think of the Dante's not. Inferno game. I couldn't oh. give you just like. I almost brought that up oh, earlier. Yeah. I, played it. I played I remember it. It that one. In my head. Yeah. This game came out in 2011. And it's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gotten so many updates for free all over all this time. And it, it, like, like I said, it passed a million reviews. Let's see what Dark Souls remasters that. Uh, that, like what? Yeah, I mean, it, it, I'm here. not. Yeah, I was wrong to say eight bit. It's probably sixteen bit, but still. Yeah, oh yeah, see, I can't. Like, like a lot of games like on Steam's are under a hundred thousand. I think Cyberpunk 2077 is like two hundred thousand. Let's see. Yeah. This, yeah, this is I, I, I would absolutely like, play this. Yeah, Terraria has three hundred fifty thousand more reviews than Cyberpunk 2077. That's just how many <laughs> people played it. That is insane. It is insane. It is. It's not as popular as Minecraft still, but it's one of the most popular games ever. <laughs> And it looks really like it's got some good platforming mechanics to it. So, like, yeah, I, I love yeah, mostly it's, like, I mostly love Ori in the Blind Forest. The game Forest. is about progression. It's just like going to the next year, next year, next year, fighting new enemies and getting more powerful. That's what the game's about. Yeah. Oh, oh that's uh, really great! Bringing up Bloody Ooh, Roar. Yeah, yeah, Bloody that Roar, is an Bloody. underrated fighter. Yeah, that is underrated. Yeah. You played that growing up, Moving Lord? That seems up oh, yeah, your alley. Of course. Hey, hey, when it came to fighting games, we used to, like I said, like my dad and my uncles, my cousin used to have game night. So Fighting Master was the fight first fighting game, and then we got we went to Street Fighter, and then you know X Men Children of, of the Atoms, and we got all the way up to the 3D fighters and Bloody Roar. That was the game because it was the first game that really introduced that you was able to transform into fucking beast in the middle of combat. It was just it was just an <laughs> awesome game, and I used to pick the uh, my dad used to pick Alice the Bunny Rabbit, 
And I used to pick uh, Leo the Lion. And that game was just – it was just hardcore. It, I, I wish that series just come back. They need to bring that series back. But that was man, a Nintendo Bloody... first party series, wasn't it? Wasn't Bloody Roar first party? No, it was on PlayStation. It was on PlayStation. It was on PlayStation. What was first Nintendo's Hudson? first party one that I'm thinking of then? Because they, they had a fighting first party series that's dead now. Oh, let me see. Um, Punch Out back in the day. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, punch, I grew up playing out. Punch Out. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. The Smash Bros. Did, I think did anybody only... play uh, Def Jam Fight for New York with all the rappers? Dude, everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. That game was. Bro, when they were showing yeah, it on yeah. daily, I was like, I've played this before. The Def Jam one. Or there's another one yeah. with 52. Uh, <clears throat> the 50 Cent yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bulletproof, yeah. I think it was. I because uh, uh, Blockbuster used to let you rent, so I'd go in there and be like, "Well, I'm not going to pay, <laughs> but I'll rent a couple." <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I like the Def Jam Vendetta Fight for New York. Yeah, because it was cool. made by the people. Um, the Aki. Aki was the one that made um, WCW versus NWO World Tour Revenge WrestleMania. They had a great wrestling gameplay system. So when I found mm-hmm. out that they were going to be the developers behind that game, we all latched onto it. Like, the, yeah, the combat. It's a fighter slash wrestling game, but with rappers and everything. I didn't think it was going to work at first. Just rappers fighting each other. But, man, that game was intense. And I then, so. especially when you were able to create your own character, we all started creating our own rap characters. And at the time, I was a rapper, and I had a rap. I was in a rap group, so I created myself. Thank you, Otaku. This is, yeah, Primal son. Fury was what I was thinking. So, of. Sorry, continue, Mugen Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and, and I used to create you, myself Otaku. and everything, and then added all these different moves from the different fighter gems and stuff like that. It was yeah. just awesome. Love that game. It Love was so sick. Game. You could like throw people into the subway. And shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you had to pick your girlfriend, like Carmen Electra. Yeah, like, yeah I you know, forgot yeah. about that. And they would like fight <laughs> each they other. Like yeah. the, um, the celebrity deathmatch video game back in the day. I think I did uh, a bit. Uh, uh, yeah, I was really into that. Yeah. Oh, I I loved the celebrity deathmatch game. Just all the different like like Marilyn Manson coming out and find like summoning demons for his the first because they had fatalities, but it was deathmatch, uh, 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 celebrity deathmatch uh, inspired. R2 Lutu is asking if Moon Lord ever played Rival Schools or the Wu Tang Clan game. I like Rival how he's singling schools. you out for obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, Rival Schools. I, I've seen in the PlayStation magazines the Wu Tang the Wu Tang Clan fighting game. I was like, I ain't playing that, but Rival Schools. I remember my cousin came over and he said, dude, you got to play this game. He said, so he popped it in and had no idea what it was. And it was made by Capcom. And the thing that was so unique about Rival Schools, it was a, it was a, it was a game, a fighting game about students from different schools, they from different extracurricular activities, and they go into war fighting one another or whatever. So when you pick your cast, it's like a three man, it's like a three man team or whatever. So you pick your, your primary character. Then you have like your support character, or whatever, and then you can be able to switch them during battle. You do team up attacks and stuff, so you can you can pick the high school jock, you can pick somebody from the baseball team, you can also pick the the school pre the pastor and stuff like that, or the principal or the school nurse, and they all have special abilities and, and power ups. You can do high jumps and oh man, it was just awesome. And then it came out on Dreamcast called Project Justice, and oh man, it took it to another level. I picked this little girl; she has like she's like a tennis player. She's on the tennis team, and uh, man, it was just it was just an awesome game. Awesome Did you want to play the game. Warriors? I, was, I just wish they bring it back. I was thinking that Wait, the Warriors. Wa- Warriors game? Yeah. He said fighting, and it made me yeah, think of it. It made me think oh, yeah. of that. <laughs> the Warriors fighting game was one of the best. Fuck it, I think it was Respawn that did it. Of all the people oh, really? back in the day. Yeah, hold on. I was, I was. Yeah, that would be a good mention. Sure. Well, you well, could, well, like, you pull that through. up. We're gonna give Serranos his out here. Serranos, yeah. tell the people who you are, what you do, and why you're leaving. Because I find yeah, it funny. I, I'm gonna watch the anime. Basically, there's a new season <laughs> anime that started, so I got a lot of stuff to watch. So I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be on Blaine's stream a little bit later tonight, like about two hours. That she usually goes live at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So I'll probably be there. You can see me there if you'd like to talk to me or him. And. Yeah, that's about it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can. I'm probably going to be working on a, or not probably, I'm probably going to be putting out a Next Fest video talking about all these new games that are going to be coming out that I've been playing, talk about those, see which ones I recommend for you. And, you know, you guys have a great day. Awesome. This awesome. Is you guys support me, everybody. everybody. I, bring, I bring Latinos on the show because I care about diversity. <laughs> diversity is our strength. Oh, so God, no. More, more <laughs> Latinos like Serrano's here. <laughs> Catch you oh, later, buddy. Man. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, uh, Rockstar was uh, the Warriors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. PS2 yeah. and Xbox. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had that on. Uh, my, I had that on Xbox. That was. I good. loved it because you could like the fight mechanics of like you could grab someone. Yeah. And when you had mm-hmm. them grab, you could punch them. Then you could throw them, and they would run around. Then when you could, you could grab them and hit them on the ground. You could pick them up, throw them into th- like it was. It created the most natural, fun, realistic looking street fight mechanic where there'd mm-hmm. be a bunch of people fighting and being thrown into each other and knocked down and people. Yeah. Like mount like top mount. Fucking put. Oh, such a good game. You go around and like uh. 
the cops are trying to arrest you, you'd have to do a mini game to take the handcuffs off of them yeah. to get out and do tagging <laughs> missions. Oh, oh, OG Rockstar. Yeah, now, damn, now yeah, I want to play that, that game. Back when they put, made Bully and everything. Yeah, Man, yeah. Trash and Drifter brought a blast from the past. The X Men yeah. Legend series. These games, these two games, and this is what led to Marvel Ultimate Marvel Alliance. Alliance yeah. Fucking hype. Like just mm-hmm. building your own you know, yeah. four man. First X Men Legends for sure. Mm hmm. Oh. I, yeah, I don't remember the second one as well. I know I owned it, but the, I think the second one was like Age of Apocalypse or something like that. Yeah. But uh, wasn't there a sec? Wasn't there an X Men game that ended up getting like you can't get it anymore? I'm trying to think. Like you had three generic starting characters, and then like they ended up like uh, something to do with licensing. Off to uh, that was not ringing a bell. But you can find some info on that. That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was there was a one v one fighter back in the day called X Men. Um, there was well, I I only played the sequel X Men. X Men Destiny. 2. Thank you, Jim. Damn, Jim's quick as fuck. X Men uh, Destiny. Destiny. I've not yeah. Heard of it. Mm. Thank God, I don't have to fucking Wikipedia. Yeah, like I remember buying it, and then all of a sudden I didn't have access to it anymore. I think they lost. <laughs> they did something. There was some shenanigans. Shenanigans. Mm. There's always some shenanigans. Oh yeah, bully is good. also a classic dude. Rockstar, th- that era of Rock- even even if uh, uh, GTA Six ends up being fine and whatnot, the era of Rockstar that gave a shit like Bully is gone. Like, there's no way that game. Like oh bully no, no, no. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, that game is fucking yeah. wild. Imagine if they went all out and didn't give a fuck. And you bully like trans people and like LGBT and just like anyone. <laughs> oh no! And they just didn't give a shit. Oh, shit. That would be fucking insane. Oh, fucking oh, use, the, oh, God, no. use the trans <laughs> flag as a like, oh, trans flag. Yeah, you can walk through your hallway with like a MAGA hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Mag- yeah, that would be and- awesome. Oh god! If they just went full on, like "fuck you," we're going full what we were. I- imagine was it Rockstar just grabbed, the like, man the, flag the man hunt games. The what? Man was it hunt. Man the hunt. Man oh, yeah, man back in the day, yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. And that was controversial. Yeah. That was very, that was very controversial, controversial. Game back in the day. Yeah. Um, the second one got released on the Wii, which people were freaking out about because, like, <laughs> it was the Nintendo thing, and you were like, "Yeah, exactly." <laughs> well, and not manhood, but the those convicted games, like the it was like a scary movie where you were a prisoner. I think it was called Convicted, where you were a prisoner trying to escape a uh, uh, haunted I, prison. I, it, or, I know yeah. the game you're talking about. Was it called Convicted? I mean, it might or... have been called. It might not have been called Convicted, but I'm trying to think. I like, know it was, you're about. You know I'm talking about, right? Like where it's that. like everyone had like spikes coming out of their limbs. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> yeah. It, it was like if I remember right, the premise of the story was like the person that that. Last condemned. Long, condemned. condemned. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, Archie. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Isn't about. that where you had like big ass? The, the suffering, the suffering too. Boy. Fuck. There's a couple of no, because condemned is another one, but the suffering, the suffering, the suffering? yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, look, oh, no, see, I'm not the one the specifically. Suffering. I remember condemned, but <laughs> Thank not, you. Not, it was yeah. another survival horror game. I think it was called Obscure. You was dude, mm-hmm. you were Ob- the only person I know besides bro, me that bro, played there's a couple of them. Love that game, bro. But no, I was thinking of the suffering. That was the game I was thinking of, yeah. The obscure to the aftermath was a fucking they like like the game starts off where you're all uh you're a bunch of these high school or uh, yeah. co- you know college people and you're mm-hmm. drinking like magic mushroom tea and you're all they all start hallucinating and so <laughs> mm-hmm. they, they wake up and are being passed out and there's fucking demons and zombies and shit everywhere but yep. like they're not tripping anymore this shit is real and mm-hmm. there's like this, this uh this math club that gets fucking just massacred by these monsters mm-hmm. and uh yep. they're like the because you're you're playing this like teeny bopper like preppy girl and she's trying to get into this math this this party this frat party at the, the math club which is retarded and they're all like get out of here you whore and, like calling her a slut and all this shit and then the zombies <laughs> break in and just murder fuck the whole math team it is so oh, great Jesus. <laughs> okay you know what game I think really needs a a, a remaster just because I want to be able to play it on my current PC system, it, it would have to be like the legacy of Kane games. Like, those- Oh my God. Yes. Blood like, like I, I've been seeing, like I've been seeing the videos of people play it, and I'm like, man, it looks so fun. But then when I try to play it on, on my PC, it's like this thing cannot run at all. It just yeah. died. Well, that's <laughs> like the Witcher. The first yeah, yeah, Witcher yeah, yeah, is pretty yeah, unplayable on PC and they're redoing yeah. it. Yeah, I know. But I right? worry. Yeah. I worry. Yeah, the legacy know, of Kane know, was such a big deal. They actually had a Bible for that, for the lore and everything. It's, yeah. it's a very yeah. big mm-hmm. game because the legacy of Kane, you have two different series. Legacy of Kane, yeah. uh, the Soul Reaver is like yep. a, I would say like a spin-off to the Blood yep. Omen series. The Blood Omen is about Kane mm-hmm. himself, and yes. then Raziel is you know for the Soul yeah. Reaver, but Kane is supposed mm-hmm. to be quote unquote the yeah. villain and everything but great yep. storytelling uh, and, and everything so much time travel i don't know the how the fear games time travel yes properly. yeah oh Ooh, yes, yes fear games. Games. i've I played both fear and games. that fear that first one and even the third one where you get to play as it's like a co-op mm-hmm. i like yeah i like as the brother that could take people over yeah 
Dude, that first fear was scary. I was afraid mm-hmm. of that shit when it came when out. When you go was, to the top of the ladder and that little bitch yeah. is in there says, ah! <laughs> I was still like, uh, what? And before well, and it was school, a, I think at that point. It was a yeah, graphic was uh, benchmark game where you would do it to yeah. see, like, because it did, like, the water effects, they were new at the time. I remember. Yeah, like, yeah, mm-hmm. I remember that. Can your computer run fear at the top? Graphic? Yeah, and it's like you'd go out. to your friend's house, we'd all be afraid to play it. And then yeah. I remember that level, you'd be walking down a hallway and then, like, flash like blood. Oh, like, or, like, or the, the ceiling will turn to blood yeah, and you'll see yeah. your footsteps walking towards you and then everything's on fire. Yeah, <laughs> no, they did it well. They did it well. And then, yeah, shout out to Crisis. <laughs> That's the way because, to put it. That was the next big benchmark is all the crisis games. Can your can your uh, computer run crisis? So you, you bring up crisis. So Kill the Cajun, I agree with him 100%. Uh, remastered Dino Crisis and Parasite Eve. These are both classics. Yeah, I fucked I'm, up I'm up mad that Dino I missed out on Parasite Eve. That gener- they, like Because during that time, I had bought uh, Xeno Gears. And so I completely ignored Parasite Eve. I'm just well, kind of mad that I, I missed out on it. I went straight. Oh, like, well, Xeno Gears just took over my life. Xeno Gears at that time. And I just totally skipped over Parasite Eve. Dude, never Parasite Eve is what happens when you let Final Fantasy and Resident yeah, Evil fuck. Resident Evil. And it's yeah. a great <laughs> game, dude. Like, yep. uh, Dino Crisis is great as well. Parasite Eve like has no right to be as good as it was. And even the mm. third one that came out on 360 in like, 2011 was still pretty damn good. Yeah. Crisis and was then, insanely uh, epic for its time. I have experience. all three I now. Never played Crisis. I, so I don't know what this is. It's a it's a super suit. You have a super suit game basically where it's uh, North Korea on an island, then aliens end up in, in it's an alien invasion thing eventually. Mm-hmm. But the whole point is you have a super nano suit that lets you do things. Yeah, still even right now because I got them on Steam. Like I think this 2024, this computer should work. It's like a top of the line computer a year ago, right? So it should be able to play Crisis. Mm-hmm. Still, even at Ultra and all the things, I was like, I better turn this down just a little bit on the anti. It's an insane game that still will make your computer work for it to do. Yeah. That's Respect. it. Oh, I'm going to check this out after Mass Effect trilogy. Yes, uh, after see, Mass Effect. Let me see, let's see if it's on, on Steam. I'll add to my list. It's list there. List it's there. I just got them. They're pretty good. Yeah, like I've the, never heard of it, but now I just I, I want to see you know because I, I can run like yeah yeah. Crisis oh, is like you've heard of Far Cry. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Crisis was like Crisis and Far Cry is the same shit. Yeah, yeah. It was that benchmark game that everybody bragged about. That you had to have like a five five grand <laughs> computer setup and shit like that. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. it at its potential at the time. Well, but back in the day, it was, it was like, like the that. AI. The AI yeah, yeah. was supposed to be new and impressive, and it would adapt to you. It would adapt yeah. to how you were playing. That was never a selling point. Never played it. It's worth it, and the first Far Cry is worth it. Like this, yeah, this was all Far based Cry on. Was great, I love that. Jack Carver. I, I've only ever played. Uh, I think it was Far Cry Three was the one that I played, and I liked it. Like, but I've what was never that? Got, like never played any of the other. They have a full on like retro techno uh, Far Cry one that I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, uh, uh, Dragon, uh, Blood Dragon. And yeah, like Michael yeah. Bean. Michael Bean play like your Terminator type. Yeah, uh, RoboCop. You get the RoboCop gun. Yeah, it's yeah. total satire. Baby, I think yeah, Co- Copa was saying it's like his favorite game or something. Like it's that. really good. Yeah. Yeah, if they've that remastered would, Zombie, like that would absolutely way. be Copa's favorite. Yeah, for sure. totally. Yeah, but you could play them all at like 4K, pretty decent graphics now. Blood Dragon, yeah. the, all the Far Cries. I'd, I'd like to play. Did uh, anybody Blood ever Dragon. play this game? There's only two of them called the Mercenaries. Yes, oh, yeah, I heard of it. I that was by it, Lucas. It was, Lucas Arts back in the day. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it was your, your whole thing was just uh, I don't remember the plot of the first one, but the plot of the second one is that you're you're, you're a gang of mercenaries, and like the opening cinematic is them like finishing their job, and you know murdering people, blowing shit up, like taking over this third world country, and then the mm-hmm. dude that hired you to do that decides to stiff you, and so the whole rest of the game is just you going through his just army of this third world army he's taken uh, third world country he's taken over just murdering everybody to get your money for a job he stiffed you on and you're like you've got mini nukes and you're blowing up as like mansions and shit it's it was a lot of fun yeah mercy yeah see great dead pulio remembers mercenaries let's see rex yeah. power cult i don't know what that one is that's the Never main character it. from blood dragon that's oh, who oh, michael oh, bean okay. plays oh, okay. rex power cult that is a that is a great name holy shit Heavenly Sword was their second. Like, I liked Heavenly Sword. I played that back in the day. I remember Heavenly Sword quite hmm. a bit. It was like, you know, there was a redheaded bitch in a bikini slicing people up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, th- there's a there's a game I found recently that uh, I think if anybody was going to play like No Rest for the Wicked, they might as well play this game. Not only as prep, but it's actually because it's, it's pretty decent. Uh, I do like it so far. It's called Achilles Legends Untold. So like imagine some 
imagine like you know before you go on i have a quick question yeah. have do, yeah. do, have you ever played a video game that didn't have to do with mythology or lord Obscure. of the rings <laughs> no i really like that shit i'm sorry okay this my shit okay can't help like, it like, have, i have, have played you, like have shooters you played kingdom come i rode the dragon like <laughs> he's played mario kart <laughs> Look, I play, I play, I play normal people games too. Okay, but that's not my stick. Okay, I search for the odd in between everything. Okay, but no, this one, uh, basically, it's like, uh, it's like a, it's one of the rare uh, isometric um, ARPGs that use like a Dark Soul stamina system. So, like, imagine if, uh, oh, what was that Legend of Zelda game that everybody was talking about? Not, not, not the most recent one, but the, oh, well, Breath of the Wild. There, now I remember. So basically, imagine. Breath of the Wild, but top down, but more dark and gritty. And you're playing as the mythological hero Achilles, but after he dies, and somehow you mysteriously get revived from the dead like 20 years after the Trojan War, where everything has gone to shit and trying to figure out why. But you're actually an undead. You don't realize it yet, though. And it, you get to like try out and play the game with uh, however many weapons you want to try you can play dual wielding spears like everything i mean everything and the best part about it is that the ai combat mechanics they use like a this proprietary new engine where say you're facing achilles legends untold it's on steam and they they do it's like 25 dollars regular pli- price but it can't mm-hmm. you can find another websites for half the price um and <clears throat> They have the proprietary AI where, say, you're facing a AI enemy that has a shield, and the other guy has like dual wielding swords. They will literally do a mechanic where the shield guy will like do this kneeling stance, and the guy doing the dual wielding will hop on the other guy's shield, and the shield guy will throw him in the air to try to do like an aerial <laughs> attack on your ass. Uh, well, oh, we got about five off, minutes left. We're going to go ahead and wrap. Yeah. Uh, but the, the way I want to wrap the show, the way I want to end this is just go around the horn and everyone give everyone give your top three to five games of all time and maybe anything you're looking forward to. Jeez. A- a- anyone know letters off the top of their head? Just, just, I don't know. If you, I love making lists and ranking shit, so that's pretty easy for me. But if anyone horrible. just knows their top three oh, to five, lay it, lay it out oh. there. Man. Yeah. All right. Fine. I'll start just because I guess they're for, um, they're not going to be like specific, but like obviously the Mass Effect series and the Assassin's Creed. Look, if I haven't been a little biased tonight, because I really like the Assassin's Creed <laughs> I've series. I've never noticed that. Sorry. Uh, so Assassin's Creed that, um, yeah. And then those OG ones we talked about of Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy, the Knights of the Old Republic. I still, Knights of the Old Republic, I still think is possibly not just one of the best Star Wars games, but one of the best Star Wars stories. Like if that was made into a live action, I would think it was better than all the, the movies. Like that's how good I like, I think that story is if done right. And uh, I'm just a TV show. You could not do it in a movie. Yeah, you could. That's the point. Is most of the things we talked about, you wouldn't probably be able to accurately adapt uh, the awesomeness of it. But yeah, I'm just hoping that in the future, there's a fraction of the games that we have this connection to. And there's obviously some that are getting through. And I just hope we go back to that. Same thing that's happening in the movies. I hope we go back to what made them great in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Respect. Why it's metal. What about you off the top? I think for me personally, most like influential and favorites would be the Grand Theft Auto series from like three on to pretty much where we are now. Uh, played those nonstop. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, because that's ever since like I first touched an N64 to now, still as much hype playing against my friends in Super Smash Brothers. Like that will be forever. That game is amazing. Um, and I had a, what was the other one I was about to throw down on here? Um, I'm gonna put God of War on the list too. Those games, I've even <laughs> fucking I loved Ragnarok. Even if I know a lot of people had a problem with it, but I, so much about that game I thought was just such good quality in a video game. Um, that will be my list. But I mean, I'm including all of the other ones too. Yeah, I do feel bad for not mentioning Infamous, just like in the grand uh, or not uh, oh, prototype. Damn, right. Oh yeah, yeah. prototype. Wait. That was another banger. I the forgot. Ha- pictures, those are good. I'm adding Halo to my list really quick. I can't. Yeah, Halo, the obligatory oh, yeah, Halo. Halo. Yeah. Halo. Witcher is like, come on. Yeah, my yeah. bad. Yeah, Mugen Lore, what you got for us? Uh, this is really not fair because it's, it's hard, really, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 in no particular order, I would say uh, it would be uh, Legend of Zelda, well, Wind Waker, um, Sweet Within for the PS One. My man. Uh, yeah, Final Fantasy uh, Tactics. Uh. Final Fantasy 
seven. Damn. And Sonic Adventure for one. <laughs> Those five games, man. Man, like, after my own heart. We love all of our children. Don't make us Jews. Yeah, and this is hard. <laughs> yeah, oh, my really. God. But those are the games that really, really, like, hit me hard, you know, as a gamer. Like, everything about those games, the characters, the experience, the gaming experiences that I had, especially if you notice all of my RPGs, man, they pretty much was that gateway drug for me to GRPGs. And it showed me that games were much bigger than you just pressing buttons, man. Like these are worlds that you're visiting. These people have, yeah. these characters have relationships and, you know, have goals and ambitions and stuff. And, you know, like you get so attached to them. And then when the game ends, you still think about those characters and what they're doing down that the game is over, you know? But yeah, man, those, I would say those games. Shout All right, out. Dragon Slayer. What mm. uh, what what esoteric games no one's ever heard of are your top three to five? <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, thank you for for singling me out on that one. Okay, that's even hard. Okay, um, let's see. I'm trying to like. Okay, so definitely. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, definitely Praetorians, uh, HD remaster specifically. Uh, that one I think is if if I could like pinpoint what game got me started into like RTS. It would be it would be Praetorians. Um, let's see. Yes, for the other two, God damn it, this is hard. Um, yeah, at all this time, you yeah, know, oh, 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 uh, like everyone else is oh, talking. Wait. You're, you're that dude no, waiting no. in line at McDonald's, <laughs> and you get up, and then you're like, uh, <laughs> can we do number yeah. four? Well, no, no, I got. Bread look, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you, okay? Like, I, I definitely am very, uh, I'm very much into like the action style games at the end of the day, but like, yeah, you know, I obviously. The Diablo games, but afterwards it, it went into like you know uh, more Titan Quest, Grim Dawn, and now my latest drug is Last Epoch. Uh, and um, as for third one, if I could choose an RPG that I just think really encapsulated me, I, I mentioned earlier, but that was um, that was Kingdoms of Amalur. I, I, I still no, I gotta admit it's in my backlog. I need to go back into it though, <laughs> and actually solid. play it again. Yeah. Pretty pretty normal, you know. Uh, if I want to add number four, I guess it would be uh, Lord. Where where is it? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh, Torchlight Two. Yeah, there we go. Ah, excellent. And uh, yeah, last but not least, um, yeah, I, my, I know mine pretty Yourself? well. Just again, lo <laughs> love ranking shit. And uh, Sonic Adventure will always be number one. Sonic Adventure is my favorite game of all time. It's it's completely That's unparalleled. Right. Uh, the remake of Resident Evil 1 and then Resident Evil 4, not the remake of 4, it's the original Resident Evil 4, the, it's tied for number two. They're just the greatest things that's ever happened to Resident Evil. Uh, Super Smash Bros. series as a whole, it's, uh, just like with what Wyatt said, like, you know, Smash Bros. is unparalleled. Um, pick a fucking 3D Zelda game. They're all, they're all goddamn perfect. Uh, and then probably Spyro 2, uh, Ripto's Rage, and that'll be... Oh. Before we How end, did we not no, mention more Resident Evil? Was, no one has shouted out Crash Bandicoot either. That was huge for me growing up. Crash what Bandicoot. the? You're right, what bro. You got for Assassin's Creed is how I feel about Resident okay, Evil. Okay, but so I'd yeah. say, yeah, I loved, I yeah. I had the PS Slim, the first, so I played the first two, and then I think Code Veronica and another one, and then, yep. yeah, I like mm -hmm. four, uh, I played five once, and then got through six, and then I liked yes. seven, and Village is all right, but yeah. I like Village the game is a terrible not again. Resident Evil game. Like this was the way I described. It. Village <laughs> is a good game. It's a terrible Resident Evil. Game. And I 100 agree with that assessment. Perfect. Yeah. Well, guys, we are going to bounce out of here. That being said, you in the chat, you've been awesome. This has been one of our biggest streams of all time. Over 350 viewers across X, uh, YouTube, and Rumble. Oh if you're God. a member, stick around. See if you can find your name in the uh, in the outro here and keep spamming in the chat what your favorite games of all time are. But until next time, it's all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise. Mm -hmm.